<clears throat> okay. Get everything set up. Hopefully we're nice and clear. Let me tweet. Wonderful Wednesday, as Julie Topaz would say. Hi, Kelly Watley. Hi, Pacola. Hi, Jennifer. I'm going to go ahead and tweet real quick. <clears throat> Babies are coming up here already. <laughs> In the morning. Live. Hang on, guys. Let's get all the little... It's done here. Lincoln profile. I don't like to tweet until I'm actually on. In case there's ever any issues. Okay. <clears throat> Jennifer, Julie, Darla, Terry Snow, Shannon C. Uh, Tracy, Elaine. Hi, everybody. I'm going to tilt my screen just a little bit this away. All right. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing well. Everything's going well. You're staying healthy. And uh, there we go. Hope that's just, that's uh, pretty good. <laughs> Let's see. Gail, good morning. I was waiting for you counting my pennies in case I need to buy something. In case you need. To, oh, wait. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, we always have something. <laughs> Hi, Janet. Uh, yeah, Janet and, uh, and I did some more uh, testing with Firefox. If y'all weren't around yesterday, we did some impromptus to do some testing with hardwired Wi-Fi off. Janet went to Firefox. I did download Firefox, but I'm still on Chrome today, Janet. Uh, Firefox worked great for Janet yesterday on StreamYard. So, um, yeah, <laughs> everything, uh, we had a good day of getting everything set up. I think we did anyway. Let's see. Oh, welcome, Tracy Nutt. I'm new to your channel. I uh, have to, let's see, here we go. Oh, sorry, wrong one. I had, I had to click it real quick. I'm in your YouTube, but have to say I love your work. Thank you so much, Tracy. Thank you so much. I'm trying to use I'm trying to use some of these little icon, you know, the little banners and the little. Yesterday I practiced share screen, so <laughs> yeah, it was um, yeah, it worked out nice. So <clears throat> hopefully we're getting better at this uh, Streamyard you know, multiple people and, you know, different things. Because I want to have guests. That's why I got StreamYard. I got StreamYard just because I want to have guests and be able to do things like click you your name and, and stuff like that. And uh, so anyway, I thought we'd do a couple different things today. First, I have a couple of books that I want to show that Faithful Mass sent. She sent these introvert activity books. She's going to start either the last Monday or the first Monday of August, she's going to start having um, a group thing on her YouTube channel. And uh, they're going to be using these books. So she sent me two of them. She said I could have one and give one away, but I'm going to give them both away because her, her group is going to be at 9.30 p.m. So just FYI, uh, it's going to be a little later. But when I give these away, I'm going to request, and I'll say it again, when we do the to, when we do it, I'm going to request that people only um, do the giveaway that really want to be in her group because these books are part of what she's doing. So I want to give them away to people that want to be in her group. So, yeah. Hi, little bookworm. Julie. Um, you can so use the features of StreamYard, Janet. It's so easy to do. Oh, yes, you will be, girl. Oh, girl, you're going to be using them. I'm going to be on your phone with you, and <laughs> I'm going to be telling you how to do it. It's really easy. You just click over on banners, <laughs> and you click over, and you click on their people's names. <laughs> it's really easy, Janet. Oh, you will be doing it. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so uh, anyway, so we're going to do that. And then I thought I would just so that you're not afraid to do it. Uh, I have a lots of Katherine Anderson. Thank you, Colleen, for uh, enabling a lot of Katherine Anderson's books. This was one of her door books, which I've cut up, as you can see. And her door books are, oh, well, this one isn't. Most of her door book pages are reversible. And uh, she has two or three different books. So I think I have all three of her door books. But anyway, so I want to show you how you can just take them apart and start using them. So I'm going to deconstruct her shell book today. I'm going to deconstruct her vintage journal imagery book today, just so you're not afraid. And then we'll probably do, maybe we'll do a little, little collage or something on some uh, watercolor paper. I pulled this book out, things to cut out in collage books, so we can use that. And I also pulled out the antiquarian sticker book we all bought because we had to have this big Mama Jamba sticker book. <laughs> so we're going to use some of that stuff today. And I have a couple other books to show. And then if we run out of things to do, I pulled out a tone tan sketchbook so we can draw some animals. So there's, we'll have stuff to do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. Hi, 3G. Uh, let's see what she says. I... Okay, let's see. 3G says, I, I heart the idea of guests. Exciting. Though I'm not a fan of two people streaming at the same time and as a normal unless they're both doing the same thing. Yeah, you have to be able to not talk over each other, you know, because it, it and, it, you know, Janet and I, we talk over each other all the time on the phone, on, on when we're streaming together. But we just, I think we can still hear each other even when we're talking. But I, it is uh, distracting for people watching. I understand that. So anyway, so here's some, something to look at. Um, let's see. Jan and Eileen, well, the problem with Eileen is she doesn't stream. I think she has a camera, but I don't think she's used it in 10 years. Well, maybe eight. I think she used it once. So the thing about having guests on, you have to, you know, you have to be equipped to get on. You have to have a camera or at least a mic, and then you won't have a face. You would just have a mic, you know, your mic icon or whatever. So, you know, to have guests, you have to at least have a camera set up. Uh, Victoria O'Neill, I have, let's, let's I want to do some of these. I want to click on some. <laughs> <laughs> I had my coffee and I made it this morning, so I'm good and dandy this morning. Yeah. Uh, did not stream together? Yes, we yeah we did stream together yesterday. Uh, but she wanted you and Eileen to stream, Janet. <laughs> yeah, we did a test yesterday, and uh, Janet got on Firefox. We both hardwired and turned off the Wi-Fi, so we were completely hardwired and no Wi-Fi. And it might look a little dark here. Let's see. Let's turn up the brightness just a little bit. See, and we can play with our camera settings and everything too. So anyway, um, <clears throat> we uh, we did a test yesterday, and uh, hi Patricia, Victoria, Nashwan, uh, who else? Anybody else popping in? So then, and then I'm still on Chrome, but Janet got on Firefox. I did download Firefox, but I haven't, I didn't do anything else with it except download it so far, uh, just to have it at the ready. But so far, Chrome seems to be working for me. Firefox worked better for Janet yesterday, and we both hardwired and turned off the Wi-Fi. Thank you, Pacola. <laughs> Yeah, and like Pacola said, here, let me let me uh, click on that. Please use all caps so I can see your messages. Especially the chat is a little um, chunkier moving on StreamYard. So it kind of clicks up in chunks sometimes when it gets going real fast. So, uh, yeah, put it in caps. If I miss it, just repeat it. I won't think you're yelling at me. And uh, thanks for all the lurkers. Thanks for the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it. I can't see thumbs up on what's going on on YouTube. Uh, but I see we have 80 people here already. So thank you, lurkers. We love our lurkers. Um, let's see. What else is going on? 
So I think that's pretty much it. Um, I don't, maybe Pacola knows something about it or somebody else. I think starting Friday, is Mary having some kind of a um, tag along thing for the weekend? Is that what it is? Does anybody know? Mary Altier is having some kind of a, um, you know, a get together, a virtual get together. And I'm not sure what it involves. Uh, Mary comes on before me. So, I, you know, hi, Kenny. Uh, but if anybody wants, knows about it or um, wants to talk about Mary's, um, whatever she's doing, hop, a summer journal hop, Teresa Church says. So she's having a summer journal hop, Mary Altier. So if anybody, um, well, Pacola <laughs> wants to put in the link. They're making a summer journal. <clears throat> There's, there's Teresa's uh, answer. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. So that's Mary Altier. Um, hi, Erica. So, yeah, I like clicking on people's names, shouting them out. <laughs> it's fun. You know, you know, and I can do a share screen and I can invite people. And that's, you know. I know there's some, I can probably put in some little icon right over here. I could put in my little face over here, but you know, I, my name's there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I think that's good enough. So, Oh, <laughs> Pacola, do you th do you think it'll be on Mary's channel? Hi, Cindy. Yeah. Yeah. Mary comes on before me and she usually ends. She knows I come on at 830. So she usually stops at 830. Not that she has to, by the way, if y'all are in the middle of a project at Mary's, please stay and finish. <laughs> you know? I'm Mama four. Um, OK, so here we go. Uh, Mary's hop is this Friday, July 10th, starting on her channel, 6 Central AM. Is that 6 AM or 6 PM? Janice. So, hi, Judy. I'm good. I'm well and happy. And okay, so Mary will be the first. Okay. Thank you, Bacala. So, anyway, guys, so let's just shout out our Mary. And uh, let's see. So, let's, uh, oh, and I do want to go ahead and shout this book out real quick. So, my friend Scott Circlin. And if I know, I'm sorry, Pacola, but <laughs> she posted the link to this book on Amazon yesterday. But Scott Circlin, who is a, a, he's a comic artist and an illustrator and he has a website and he's got a lot. So if you just go to Scott Circlin's uh, YouTube channel, you'll find it. But he has put out some color books on Amazon. And this is one of them. Hipster Pugs. <laughs> I showed it yesterday in our impromptu. But if you want to go over to Scott Circlin's channel, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description box after the show is over. But it's just little puns. It's funny dog puns for kids and adults. And it's and it's pretty simple coloring as far as like what we color. It's pretty fairly simple. But it's it's very funny and punny. And um I am sending this to Jen reading with pugs. <laughs> I'm sending this to Jen reading with pugs. And um, <clears throat> so it's, it's a hipster coloring book. And so it's just, you know, and you know us, if we are coloring it, we'll add shading and details. And I know Jen reading with pugs can do it justice. Hi, Karina. So anyway, I will uh, put Scott Circlin's, YouTube channel link in the description box after the show. But I wanted to shout him and his channel and his new color book adventure. There's there's Jen. Hi, reading with bugs. So I'm sending this to Jen. Um, so anyway, uh, these are so, this is adorable, Scott. So yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> it's just funny. It's just funny. So there's there's that. Y'all, I will put a link in the description after the show. All right. Let's see. One else. Yes, I was talking about you, Jen. So, yeah, I'm sending that book to her. Okay. So then the other couple things I wanted to do. Um, I'm going to wait a little while longer to talk about um, Faithful Messes. Uh, 
she can't be here today. She says she had to work. Maybe she can pop in at some point, but she's working today. So she told us yesterday when we did it impromptu that she can't be here today, but she might pop in. You never know. But anyway, she's going to be doing my, the last Wednesday. I mean, oh, I keep wanting to say Wednesday because that's the day I stream. The last Monday of July or the first Monday of August, she's going to start. But if you just follow Faithful Mess, and that's with two L's, Faithful Mess on YouTube, you'll find all the information about her. Uh, she's going to have a group, an, an introvert group thing, <laughs> art, and, and it's an activity book. So I'm going to give both of these away. I've got two copies. I'm going to give them both away today. Here comes little Malibu. Yeah, I know, baby girl. You want mama pets. You want mama pets. Okay, let's, let's move all this out of your way. <laughs> And, um, oh, she was here. Faithful Mess was here. Okay. And uh, so you just follow Faithful Mess on YouTube to find out information on her class. So let's see. What else? Janice G. I said hi to 3G and Kenny. Thanks, everybody. So the next thing I want to do is, as you can see here, this is just one of my little collage trays. I've got multiple trays and just whatever I'm working in at the time. This has some leftover uh, jelly plated stuff, but this has a lot of Catherine stuff in it. Her doors and some other stuff in here of Catherine's that I use for collage. But I find, this is just me, I find if it's in a book like this, now, this is kind of an exception to the rule because these are tiny little things. Although I do have a lot of them, excuse me, I have a lot of them cut out and put in a basket. But this is one of this something this small or something as small. Oh, my gosh. Or something as small as the antiquarian sticker book. When you, you when you use something this small, it's almost better to leave it in the book because they're small. And uh, otherwise, you know, and I, like I said, I have cut some of these out. And when I cut these out and put them in a, in a basket, I'm kind of digging a little more than I'd want to. So it's almost easier just to leave the half used pages. <clears throat> a sip of coffee here, guys. <clears throat> half, you know, to use the half uh, used pages and leave them in the book. I don't know, guys. What am I supposed to do with this? She wants to sit in the basket. <laughs> You're just so sweet, little princess. You're just so sweet and cute. I know. <laughs> yeah. They both have gray on top of their head. She has a little bangs. Hers goes right across the top as a little bang. And his has a little widow's peak. Well, it's an inverted widow's peak on him. So anyway, I thought if I if the cat will let me, my baby, what? Oh, oh my gosh, it's slippery. <laughs> she is adorable. <laughs> anyway, um, I would cut up the other two Katherine Anderson books I have here because they're larger images and they can be in my bin. <laughs> I know she does. She does. <laughs> Hi, Julie Topaz. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think you already said happy, wonderful Wednesday. I think I saw that. Uh, Susan D, anybody? So if you're watching, if you're just coming in and you're just watching the show for the first time or you're watching the recording, I my show officially starts at 9 a.m., but I come on at 8.30 so I can say good morning to everybody and hi, how you doing <laughs> uh, before I start. So, um, yeah. And uh, so, so far, it's looking like StreamYard, hardwired, Wi-Fi off. Right now I'm on Chrome and it seems to be doing well after about five days of trying and not having it well. Okay, babe, you're going to have to get down now. You know that? You're going to have to get down. You're going to have to get down so mama can work. So mama can work. Mm -hmm. You're just purring. She's so cute. Maybe I can slide her over. There we go. How about that? How about that? 
<laughs> just slide the tray over. So anyway, I'm going to cut these books up. And um, so nobody freak out. Uh, I cut all of Catherine Anderson's book up, books up. I think I have about eight of them. <clears throat> Let me get off my squeaky chair and fix it here. I have a little blanket thing I sit on. My chair is very old and squeaky, but it's so comfortable. I just can't get a new one. Okay, Sea, Shells, and Shorelines, Catherine Anderson. And uh, it's a collection of photo photographic images for use in personal art. So she does these books for you. I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit here in a minute. I just thought maybe we'll give the cat some attention. <laughs> we'll, give, uh, we'll give Malibu a minute, and then we'll zoom in. So, uh, <laughs> I know, right? Pat me. Hi, G. How you doing? G, I like that you've done a few longer videos. I, Because G, when she, she does a video, she just gets started. Like, she sometimes would have, like, two or three-minute videos. Nothing wrong with that. But she'd have two or three-minute videos. So I'd be just getting into G's stuff and whatever she's doing. And then it's, it's like, okay, that's it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad she's doing some longer ones. Um so let's see who else is coming in. All right. So what, what I'll do is I'm going to cut them. I'll just tear them out and I'll just cut depending on which, you know, you can use either side. These are not double sided. There might be a couple double sided shells in there. Um, I think this is a double. Si yeah, this is a double sided one. You can use either side. This one. There's a few in there that are double sided that you can use. It's, you know, so if you want to have a flip or a door like the, her doors, there there a lot of them are double sided so that if you want to open the little doors, cut and open the little doors, there's the doors are on the inside, too. But not all of them are that way. So anyway, like this one, I kind of like this. So I would probably pick this and this, you know, but who knows? Just the idea that there's two sides. You might want to get two books. But anyway, uh, I thought that some of these little uh, scenes we could use as a base on mm, a piece of watercolor paper and make some little scenes with our stickers and our, our little collage elements. Just a little practice. Thank you, Pacola. There's a, uh, let me put, you can't click it from the, from the picture there, but just so you know her name right there and Pacola. Um, thank you, Pacola, for putting a link in there. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, I will, this is, this is how I will use her book. I will use her book so much more if I cut it down. So there's like shells. You could use the shells or the scenery. I'm just going to face the scenery up for now. But there's shells and scenery on all of them. And I probably should get this spine as open as I can. Uh, you really probably, I probably should just use an X-Acto knife and cut them out. But it'd be easier. I think I'll do that. So... But it, it's just a beautiful, all her, all her photography is beautiful. Oh, baby. Oh my gosh. So let's see. Let me get, let me get my uh, blade out here. Are you, are you settled in now? Hmm? Are you settled in now? She likes sitting on my desk with the paper. The boy likes getting in the laundry basket. Hot when the laundry first comes out, he likes to get in the laundry basket. All right, so I'm going to try to just cut these all out. So. They don't have to be right to the edge. I don't care that they're right to the edge. You might care, so you just you know cut out, cut out how you want. I just want them out of the book. Some of those little scraps. There you go. <clears throat> if you want it really straight, you should probably use a, a metal ruler. Don't use a plastic ruler. Um, makes you want a cat and scrap girl 12. <laughs> Do you have to fight to keep them out? Of the no, they don't ever try to get in the dryer. 
that is that is one thing. Now they might have when they were kittens, because you know I got the I got these cats. Denise, re my daughter rescued them, and uh, she had their pictures. I, I've told the story before. She had their little pictures, and she was showing us. Look, mom and dad, look at our two new little baby kittens. Aren't they cute? Hubster and I looked at each other and said, they're going to be ours in six months. <laughs> they're never home. That family is always on the go. Well, you know, with the virus, they have, uh, you know, not as much. But, <laughs> um, but anyway, um, they, uh, they're always, no, baby, can't have this. So we knew that they would probably end up with us after a couple months. And sure enough, about six months old, Denise said, yeah, we do, we're never home. We, we can't. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say, Teresa, is that they may have tried to be in the dryer when they were little bitty kittens. We got them when they were about eight months old, I think. I told Denise, I said, you get them fixed and we'll take them. So she did. She got them fixed and we took them. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm just kind of trying to keep the or the part I've cut, you know, kind of out of the way here. I'm just sliding them all out until I get the whole book cut out. I think I might be. You know, I've got a few more still. I'm going to slide them over to the side. <clears throat> and I'll keep the cover of this book because people ask me what book something comes out of. I'll have the book to show the cover. And remind me if I like the book so much, I might need to get another one. <laughs> All right, so we almost got through the shelves. There's two more. I think I've probably pretty got, much got them cut out. No, not quite. A little bit of edge there. One or two more. I'm sure this is riveting, but you know, all of us, we, we'll watch paint dry. <laughs> okay, there we go. And there she is there. All right, let's move this. Let me move my bracelet st strings here. <clears throat> All right. Let me just read her little uh, back page here. My journey of self-discovery has taken me from a career as an attorney in South Africa to a photography business owner to my current creative life. Now I get to combine all the things I love in the retreats, pilgrimage, pilgrimages and trainings I offer around the world. In my creative retreats, I offer practices which have transformed my life and encouraged me to listen to the voice of my soul. Among these are soul collage, the labyrinth, photography, visual journaling, and mixed media art. And then she talks about her soul collage classes that she started in 2004. And um, yeah, so um, she has all kinds of uh, books. I don't know, 10, maybe 12. I probably have about eight of them. Colleen probably has all of them. <laughs> Colleen's the one that enabled us with Catherine. And uh, so, yeah. So let me stack these up here for a second. So I'll remove this book. And I still got this one, but we're going to do one at a time. So, um, yeah. So these, I'm just going to kind of flip through them. And if it's uh, if there's a place to cut them in half, then I will do so. And I think if they match up, I could probably do two at a time. Because I'm not that picky on my collage elements. Y'all know I tear, paint them in. They're all they're all going to be, um, you know, they're all going to be used in different ways. So probably torn edges and all that. So I'm just kind of sort of lining them up sort of best I can. I know this is probably uh, bothering people with OCD. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Debbie the Doodler. Let's see. Let people drop off to the sun. Yeah. Well, you know, it, Denise wanted, she wasn't going to let anything happen to these two cute little kittens. So she rescued them. 
well, she, she adopted them from somebody that I don't know what she, they were going to do with them if they didn't get somebody to adopt and probably send them to the, uh, you know, what do you call it? The uh, shelter. So we love them. They're like, they're two years old now. So I'm trying to show y'all both sides as I cut them down. This one's upside down here. So I'm going to pick a couple of the little scenes. Like, I really like this one. I might use this one. And then put some kind of, you know, look, you just put a stick of mermaid on this and, you, and you're good. You got you a little scene with a mermaid. Now, you know me. I like to paint and add other things in my abandoned books and my altered books and stuff like that. But it doesn't have to be that complicated. You can make some very simple collages. I'm going to keep that one. And uh, and use some of these scenes. And you can do the same thing with some magazines. Just find you. The thing about Catherine is she's letting you use her images. Right? So that's, you know, you, you buy the book and you can use the images. So, and I like that one too. I'll keep those two. Just some umbrellas. I already cut that one down. So aren't they, isn't it a beautiful shell and shell scenery pages? But I will use them. I will use them if they're cut down. I know, right, Debbie Doodler, they are cats. I'm a cat person. I've always been, we've always had cats. We did have a husky when we lived in Alaska. We had him or had her for, I think she lived to be about 15 we had her, I think, for, I don't know, 12 or 15 years. I can't remember now. It was some years ago. So I'm just kind of trying to show you all the different sides to everything here. And then here's the ones we already cut out. All right. So you get a lot of imagery. Some of them are full-size pages like these. The rest are half pages. <clears throat> Love this one. Okay, so we cut down the shell book. Let's move that over here for a minute. And then I want to cut down this one. And you can recombine them. Recombine the books, you know, use some from this one, some from another, use some of her doors. <laughs> okay, I'll give you your door back. Are you moving on? You gonna move on? No, you're gonna hunker in. Okay. Let me tuck this in. It's in my way. <laughs> Let's turn you around so people can see your face. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Just spin it, spin her around. <laughs> oh, you're going to cut your, you've got to cut it up to use it, Janet. Of course you do. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing with the vintage journal imagery. And again, she has her, you know, intros in the front and back. And uh, this one has lots of a vintage, <laughs> uh, a lot of people. And look, you could you could combine some of these people with. Let me get my, some of my tins. Uh, look with your little Timmy people. <laughs> So you can have the little your little kids or whatever, you know. I mean, you can just recombine all kinds of things. So uh, let's see, let's put in here. Might use some of it for them today. Let's get this back. There we go. All right, so first we're gonna cut them out. If y'all have any questions, put them in caps. Pacola says, oh well, there we go. Let me just I know you can't copy and paste that link, but there is, she did put the link in for the vintage imagery right there. You love taking books apart. Um, Scrap Girl says, 
I love taking books apart. When I see you do this, I get excited. <laughs> yeah, you know, and again, I like to make some complicated collages and I paint a lot of my collage work, you know, like in my abandoned books and my altered books and my, you know, Kerry and Connolly abandoned books. So I do a lot of painting in them too, but you don't have to, you know, you can do essentially just little collage scenes um, that's one, and I'll show you the other book in a minute. Um, you can do collage scenes. You don't have to use paint. You can do glue books. You can just glue a scene and start putting people in it. You know, there's just lots of things. It's very, it's very creative and very relaxing to me anyway. All right. So I'm going to cut, cut this book down. I know this is probably making some people nervous. And I'm not, I don't care if they stay in order or anything, because they're all going to get cut down. But take your time, and you really want to use a metal ruler. So I want to kind of concentrate here a second. I've not cut myself with a box cutter, but I have cut my thumb with um, X-Acto knives. This is the kind of blades we used to use when we'd wallpaper uh, display rooms back when wallpaper, back when I was a visual merchandiser and we had to decorate little room settings and wallpaper was still a thing. Yeah, this, uh, this these are the kind of blades we'd use for that. And I'm going to show you all the images in this one, too. So, you know, I'm not looking at chat for just another minute. I don't want to cut through the back of the book. Okay, there we go. I think I got them all. All right, so again, now I'm going to close the blade, Barb Owen, and put it away. <laughs> Barb's not here, but, you know, Barb and her safety with the blade. She's told she's told multiple stories about her, um, you know, tearing, taking, a, closing a blade. So that's the vintage journal imagery. This is what it looks like. Pacola put a link in there. All right, so now let's tear these down. Let's, let's break these babies down. <laughs> and then we'll do a little uh, we'll do a little collaging. And then you know after that if we get tired of collaging. I've got my sketchbook out to um, draw something, maybe some lemurs. You know me, I'll draw a lemur any day. I'll draw and paint a lemur. Maybe we should draw if we do some drawing. Draw some um, draw in the tone tan sketchbook with different things. Like y'all know, uh, I like to on white paper just draw with a ballpoint pen. Um, but in the tone tan, which is what I use for portraits and pet portraits, I I've moved on to the tone tan mixed media paper because it's thicker. But it's exact same color and feel of the regular tone tan sketchbook paper. So maybe we could try some pencil, some color pencils, some different things. Maybe we'll try that. So we'll see. Um, let's see. Who am I missing? Candy, little sister Cheryl. Uh, anybody else that's popping in? Okay, so let's see what we got here. Shall we? All right, so we have some people and we have... Uh, so I'm, I'm going to just cut them in half again. I'm just going to go for cutting them in half. But if I if I use them on something, you might want to cut her out. And if you're doing a collage where you're going to paint, <clears throat> if you're going to paint in like reverse collage or paint in the background or paint on, it's best if you tear because torn edges, torn edges will blend with paint much better than a cut edge. <clears throat> okay, they'll, they'll blend much better than a cut edge. So I'm just going to cut these in half. I might use one of these families. If you use one of the families, you got to cut, you know, cut one of these up. Unless like you, I think Colleen said she bought two books. So 
And I did this. I did that with this one. I bought another one of these so that I can, you know, have multiples of that. But you know, if you're not if you're not doing collage all the time or using, you know, collage elements all the time, one book will last you a while. <laughs> you know, one book will last you a while. So I'm just going to cut these in half and then I'll just flip it over and show you the other side. These are giant postcards. More postcards. More people. Lace. Oh, look at that sweet little girl. <laughs> Cute. Hi, Suzanne. Devin. Uh, said hi to 3G. I know I'm probably missing people coming in. I'm just breaking down one of Katherine Anderson's books here. Because this is how I use my, my collage elements. Same thing when I buy a magazine or something and I, you know, there's images I want to use little scraps of or something. I start tearing it down. Oh, I like those bees. Let's see, do I want to cut those bees? Oh, kind of. Oh, who's texting me? Denise. Okay, let's see what Denise is doing. And I showed y'all yesterday, Boo got, she was getting her virus test. She was at the doctor and she sent us a little video of um, getting a swab stuck up her nose. Um, she has a, she has a allergy, seasonal allergies, and I know that's what it is. She has seasonal allergies every year and uh, has sore throat every year from seasonal allergies. But I think it, Boo's going into the medical field. <laughs> She's uh she's not sure which at first she wanted to be a brain surgeon. Uh but she's going to the medical field, so medical stuff like that it just doesn't bother her. She just, you know, oh, it's an experience. Let me see what Denise is saying here. She's probably talking to my mom. I'm not sure. Oh, 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 Denise is at her new office. She's just showing us a picture. Let me ask her something. So anyway, yesterday while I was streaming, yesterday while I was streaming, oh, Denise sent me, she didn't know I was streaming. I was impromptu. Uh, she sent me a, pic, a little video of Boo getting, <laughs> Boo getting the uh, test. You know. Anyway. And uh, so I kind of, I didn't want to, I don't know. Sometimes YouTube gets a little funny about talking about it, about the virus. <laughs> I don't know why, but they do. So, um, well, don't they look happy? <laughs> and I know back, you know, I mean, these women worked their butts off back then. You know, they didn't have, they, they worked themselves um And, you know, most of them, although they did paint in some little rosy cheeks, you know, they, uh, they were, uh, they wore themselves out working back then. Let's see, Louise, I'm probably missing people coming in. Thanks, everybody, for popping in. Thanks for all the lurkers. We're getting, to, we're getting some project, we're getting to a project. More postcards and vintage writing. And he's he's kind of he's kind of handsome there. Right there, vintage guy. These uh, cabinet cards is what they're called. I have a lot of them from um, Hubster's relatives, and um, I got I inherit because I I did all the scrapbooking for the family. I inherited a lot of the family photos from Hubster's side of the family. And uh, so one time, this was back when um, my mother-in-law was uh, alive, and I got with her, and we went through the photos, trying to figure out. She nobody knew who half the people were. Cause I always wonder when you go to a flea market, 
and you see all these family photos that are for sale at flea markets, you think, who's going to throw away their family pictures? Well, nobody knows who they are. <laughs> You gotta, I mean, I literally have boxes and drawers full of old pictures like this and nobody in the family knows who they are. You know, it's like, mm, what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? Hi, Trudy Lurker. Let's just click you on there. Miss Trudy V. Welcome. We welcome our lurkers. Yeah. Say cheese. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Debbie knows. <laughs> and then these are uh, full pages. This has a full page of buttons. I like um, I like when you have the buttons on the cards. Oh, here's another. Uh, oh, let's see. This one's not going. Do I want to cut that? Probably. I'd probably use the buttons instead of this, but I won't cut it down yet. I'll just put that with the big sheets. You see, I'm trying to keep them all by size here. All right, let's keep going here. Look at those little, little guys with their little sailor outfits. <laughs> So it's just, you know, fun to imagine found relatives. Not who I'm not sure who coined that term found relatives. Was it Tim Holtz? I'm not sure. Does anybody know who coined that term? But that's what they are. They're found relatives. <laughs> hi, Tracy. Tracy L. Anybody else I miss? I said, I think I said hi to Gail. Hi, Gail. <coughs> Joyce B. Judy O. And look at this. These are vintage uh, book book uh, covers here. He was in this other picture. I saw him. He was smaller. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. And I think her too. I think there was a small version of both of them. Let's see. I don't think I want to cut this one because I might use this as a base. This big page here. So let's put that in the back. All right. Butterflies. These are nice. We always like to add butterfly wings to our people. Give them wings. Give everybody wings. This looks like, this reminds me, does this remind you of your school pictures? <laughs> and you get all the different sizes and you, uh, whatever package you'd want to buy. I don't even know if they do school pictures anymore because nobody probably buy them. Oh, maybe a graduation picture or something like that, or a group graduation picture. Your little tails in mama's way. Move it over there. <laughs> um, otherwise, people just take so many pictures, you know, on their phone and stuff. And uh, she's had a hard life. Look at that lady. God bless her. And then you get you get a beauty every now and then. Look at her. See, every now and then you get a pretty a pretty girl. And some smaller butterflies. I don't know if I want to cut this one up yet either. So I might want to use that. So we'll keep that big sheet. This one in here. Look, some of these little people like this. I really like this lady here. I like the. Hmm, which one do I like? I think I'm going to go with this little lady here. Or do I like these? I'm thinking of one of these ladies by the seashore. Well, this way. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one I want yet. I'm thinking one of these ladies by the seashore. Or maybe this little girl. All right, last one. Oh, there's her again. I really like her. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something with her. We'll forego one butterfly for her. <laughs> I like her. 
Okay. Uh, your granddaughter still gets school pictures, but one option to buy the digital files. Oh, okay, Devin. That's a good idea. I didn't even think about that. Devin said that they still do school pictures, but you can buy the digital file. And then I guess you just print out however many you want. Right? What book are we cutting up, Tracy? We're cutting up. I'm going to put it here. Vintage Journal Imagery, Katherine Anderson. She has all kinds of books on Amazon where she, it's her photography, and she puts it together in these different books. I got the Shell one, Door one, Portal. There's, I think I have about eight, and she probably has 12 or 15 of them. I'm not sure how many she has now. Um, but she she does that for you to, to cut up and use in your art. So, you know. All right, so there we go. So we cut that one up. And Kat's sitting on all the doors. <laughs> this one's a double-sided. Not all of them are double-sided, but she does have a book that's almost all double-sided. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Where's my little girl go? There she is. So now we've done that in the seashore. And um, so I picked two of Catherine's uh, images out of the uh, shell book, which let me show you all that too. If you come in. This is her shell book. It's all shells. And I just cut that one up too. So if you missed it later on, you can go back and see all the pictures from this one. And uh, so I thought that it would just use a piece of watercolor paper because it's heavy and make some little scenes. Let's do two at a time. I don't know what I want to do yet. It's not planned. It's impromptu. Just, I mean, the project is. Maybe I should zoom in one. You can't see that. If I zoom in, you won't be able to see the cat. People go, oh, I want to see the cat. Um, you need another book? <laughs> okay, now, now we can't see you again. Let's see. There we go. I just keep spinning her around. <laughs> Mama keeps spinning her around. <laughs> but I thought that we could just glue these on. Uh, and I'll probably just glue stick them uh, just to kind of make a quick project so you can kind of see some ideas. So what I'll do, let's move this over. And in a little bit, guys, probably in about 30 minutes, I'm going to do a giveaway just so that y'all can be aware of it. I want to have as many people uh, know about it. Faith, Faithful Mess, that's Faithful with two L's, Faithful Mess on her YouTube channel is going to start a group, um, introvert activity uh, group. And uh, she sent me two of these books, which I'll show you here in a minute. And... Uh, it's going to be the last Monday of this month or the first Monday of August. So follow her on her YouTube channel or on Instagram. If you need to message her, she's on Instagram. And uh, then you can find out more about it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask people that are interested in doing the group with Faithful Mass to be in the giveaways. Because this is going to be part of her her uh, group projects so if you do plan on being it you can go look now if, i don't know if she has anything up on her youtube channel yet i'm not sure but anyway if you would be interested in doing this uh project with faithful mass then you go over to her instagram uh, and subscribe to her youtube channel and then you know i'm gonna do a give i'm gonna give away two of them she sent me two she gave me one to keep but i can't be in it because it's at 9.30 at night. I'm going to be, you know, tell y'all it's going to be at night. Uh, you know, she does work. She's a working lady. She's a working woman and mom. And uh, so, yeah. Hi, Dot. Um, Let's see. Yeah, she is. And she, hi, Carla. Okay, that's all right. That's all right, Dot. We love our sitters and our lurkers and our not chatters. <laughs> Okay, so I just thought maybe we would just do, um, maybe just do a glue stick. Let me, I don't know which one of these is the freshest. <laughs> and um, then do a little a collage scene. So I guess I'm going to have to zoom in some. Let's see. Let's, uh, I think we're, are we still focused there? I think we're still focused. Maybe brighten it just a tad there. I don't want to get it too flashed out. I'd rather have it you know, a little unflashed. 
There we go. That looks pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to glue these down on some watercolor paper. And then we'll look through some smaller collage, like out of this book here, things to cut out. And it's a smaller, they're smaller. Well, there's some larger images in here too, but it's a lot more, you know, small things to add to uh, uh, these kind of scenes. All right, so let's go ahead and let's see which glue stick is going to be the best. Here's this one fresh. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to just put glue stick over the whole thing. Let's get as much of it on here as we can. Do I want more rocks? A little bit of the waves, maybe. And then I'll just trim it. I'll trim off any overhang. Let's see if we get that a little straighter. Put one on the edge there. there go. And you can take a card. Take a card and mash it down. Almost picked up my little, got one of my little Zandra paint and paper shoes. I got an order coming in from Zandra. I think it'll be here tomorrow. So I'll try not to bust into the order too much before I can do a stream and show y'all everything I bought from Zandra. <laughs> and then I also have a couple Patty Tolly Parish foamies uh, coming, foamy stamps coming. So I got a few things. And I have a couple more Amazon books coming <laughs> you know, I love to love to share things with you guys okay so let's go ahead and trim this down and I uh, this watercolor paper is just some of the like probably the Michaels brand or the Hobby Lobby brand and one side's rougher than the other. So I did glue it down to the smooth side. One side's just a little smoother than the other. Let's trim this down just a little on this edge. There we go. There we go. So now we have a little scene on a card. Okay. Hi, Victoria. All right. Anybody else I missed coming in? All right. Let's go ahead and glue this one down. Pick the smooth side. <clears throat> and I'm making sure the whole thing is nice and glued so that there's no bubbles or no wrinkles. So I want it to be completely flat. I got glue on you, lady. Well, I was going to use you in one of these scenes. Okay. All right. Go. Now I'll just trim it. Make sure the corners are all glued down well. This is just something, you know, good practice for collaging, mixed media or whatever you do. I'm, I'm going to try not to add paint today. I'm just going to try to just do this and maybe some drawing. But I'm going to try not to bust out the paint today. All right, let me trim this little edge here. And you could also do this in your art journals. You could glue these images down in an art journal and just have a, you know, um, like your white space around it. You can just have it, or you can even do it in a toned tan. See? So you could do it like this and just have it almost like a frame. And you could have the uh, images coming off of the edge if you want. Like some of those shells. I'm going to lay that on your head, baby girl. <laughs> Let me see. Let me get one of those shells. Hang on. Um, 
like, let's just say this one. This is a little big for my example, but you could cut this shell out and have it kind of coming off the edge, you know, just have that shell coming off the edge here. And then you could journal, you could write, you could put a poem, you could have this up here. You could put the shell right here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this shell out. Let me just let you. Hang on. So just showing you options. You could use this in an art journal. Okay. So you can use it like this. You could put it like this. And then you'd have room. You'd have room to write. So you can use your use your images like this. Let's see. You know, however you want to do it. And you could use uh, use it in your art journaling. Excuse me, baby. I pulled this out because we draw today. We're going to draw a that book. All right. <clears throat> Get a little flashed out, a little bright because of the brown, uh, the brown paper. There we go. Okay, so, um, but I'm not going to use this here. So I got these two. Let's move you over just a little bit, little girl. Move you over just a little bit. I know people can't see you now, but I need some space. <laughs> uh, I think she's getting tired of me moving her around. Stretching. She's getting up to stretch. So uh, let's see. If y'all have any questions or anything, put them in caps. Um, thanks to any new newbies for being here. We appreciate. Um, yeah, we like the new. We like the newbies. All right. So let's see what we can do. I, I kind of wanted her to be in here somewhere, but uh, do I want her coming out of the water? You know, some people get freaked out thinking, oh, you know, she's drowning or something. Maybe she's just in the water. Let me get another pair of scissors. Let's see. And I'm not going to glue. She's. I got a little glue on the back, but I'm going to try not to glue her down yet till I find some other images. We might just use an octopus, you know, coming out of the water. <laughs> but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to cut her out. Let's see. I'm going to fussy cut her out. So uh, Malibu decided to go find something else more interesting to do than hang out with us. Although I don't think anything could be as fun as that. <laughs> hmm. So what's everybody else working on these days? What's What projects are, you, are holding your attention? And then I think I'm going to tear the edge here. <clears throat> You can see, and you can also like cut around where she could be behind a rock there or something. I'm not sure where I'd put her yet, so I don't want to do that yet. But uh, let me get right in here. Or you can even put her over here. I'd cut her down a little, but I'm liking her the size of her here. All right, let's see what we got in. Let's move this to the side. Now that Malibu's off all my doors here, let's move this to the side. And again, you know, use, you know, if a lot of us bought this uh, antiquarian sticker book, there's all kinds of things in here. Victorian looking flowers. I don't remember. Yeah, there's shells in here. I've used quite a bit out of this book. Let's see. Here's a... A shell, there's little squirrels, there's all kinds of things. But whether you use something like this or something like this, where they have smaller, um, smaller imagery, all right, let's turn the brightness down again. Let's see, there we go, because we zoomed in. So, uh, you're still plugging away. Hi, Mark, good to see you. I haven't seen you around for a while. And then there's Diaries of a Wandering Artist, you're working in color and Kirby. Let's see what else is everybody doing. 
uh, Devin, Devin Rex is still plugging away ICAD, which is index card a day. Uh, Tracy is doing Helen Elliston's. I love that book. I would need to, that reminds me I need to get back in it. I love the colorist special effects book, Tracy. That's an awesome book. Let's see. Uh, and of course, Di uh, Di uh, Diaries of a Wandering Artist says she's working in the Kirby coloring books. Um, what else y'all working on? Let me see what else. What else y'all working in? Just trying to see. Jen reading with pugs is coloring for Christmas in July until she gets her, her pug book. I'm sending, I'm sending this to Jen. This is Scott Circlin's uh, hipster pugs. You can follow him on YouTube, Scott Circlin. He has a uh, website, Circworks, but his color books are only on Amazon. So if you want one of these, you have to go to Amazon and I will put a link. I'll put links in the description after the show. So there's that. Let's see. Um, hi, Miss Vicky B. Oh, sorry, wrong thing. <laughs> that goes quick. I have to grab y'all quick. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I sent Miss Vicky B. A, a, a working uh, the Daphne's Diary magazine. You know, y'all. She sent me that uh, uh, traveler's notebook, and which I'm still working in. By the way, got it up on the shelf up there. I'm working on it. And uh, so I thought if she she and her girls could work on cutting up the Daphne's Diary um, paper special, it was a special edition. Oh, now I got us too dark. Every time we move something light or dark in front of the camera, it changes, you, you know, it changes the color. It will be all pugs when I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, now let's look at this and see. I got these the two pictures here, and we're gonna pick out some things to um, add to it. And then after we do this, then we're gonna do a giveaway of the introvert activity books. I'm gonna give away those, and then maybe we'll just sketch a lemur. <laughs> we like to do a little everything here. So I'm not sure yet what. Um, what I want to add, do I want to add, uh, do I want to add some odd features, some, you know, put a cactus in there, you know, <laughs> some pretty flowers or just some aquatic uh, things. We could put a cat, you know, there's always a cat. You know, look, look, she, <laughs> I could be reaching up for her uh out of the water trying to save her i don't know i kind of like that let's see uh, oh, we'll see i might just cut one out just to see so again if you have a bunch of tiny images like this you could cut and i have cut a lot of them up and put them in a basket but it's almost easier to find because i don't i don't um I should maybe but i don't divide these up cut these up and put them like in a cat folder or in a cat, you know, in the little box as a cat. I don't, I don't do that. But it, depending on, you know, how much collaging you do, how organized you are, things like that. Um, you, you're gonna do this. You're gonna do this, Janet. Aw, it's it, Janet. I think what Janet's um, issue is is that she all the collage elements you have to be organized in some form to store them or. We don't have to be. I've got most of my stuff are just in tubs. I started organizing some. I showed y'all um, either Monday or last week uh, that you can put your stuff in little bins, little the little photo boxes, or you can put them in drawers or folders. But unless you're doing tons of collage, and even though that I do tons of collage, I don't organize my stuff that much like that I, I did start doing some of it like that but not a lot of it tiny things are are what gets lost in my bins so when i have big tubs full of collage elements it's stuff like this that would get lost in the big tubs so that's why i'm keeping most of it in this book so and just cutting it out as i need it Okay. <laughs> so there's that. I kind of like, I kind of like this. Like maybe she's in here somewhere. And I'll, I'll cut this out and fix, 
fit it in better, but maybe she had some here. Trying to see. Mama! <laughs> or even coming down this way. So you can do whatever, you know, have fun with your, have fun with your collage. And, and if you don't, if it doesn't fit, don't feel bad that you can't just trim it too. But something like this here, let's see. <laughs> just make it fun. Have some fun with your collage. I don't know if that's what's going to sit there, but I'm just kind of going with that for a minute. Um, this one, these little houses are cool. That might be a cool house way on the horizon here. Or you could do something like have an old vintage woman and a modern house and have the modern house way out here, have her here. And it's like she could be dreaming of the future, you know, because she's stuck in Victorian land. I'm just going to do a little test here. I don't, I'm going to, I think I'm going with the cat, but I'll just show you what I'm know what I mean. Are we how we how we doing on the uh is are we too flashed out? <clears throat> Cause I know every time I change uh every time I change books or papers or colors it does want to uh flash out. Janet has two of the antiquarian sticker books Devin as do I she she, <laughs> she doesn't have an excuse she uh she has the antiquarian sticker book. We both bought it at the same weekend at Target. Uh, we both bought them at Target at the. She's the one that told me about it. She goes, "Well, do you go to your Target? See if you got this book." And I did. My Target had it. Of course, then, ever since then, everybody's been buying them up. And then I think they bought them all off of Amazon. And then I think Barnes and Noble had them for a while. So I don't know if they. Uh, you know, I'm sure they're still around. But Janet and I bought bought two of them at the same time <laughs> target <laughs> so what i was thinking on this look at this so if you have this house way off here in the horizon like this look and you could do other things too i'm just thinking of her being uh vintage you know you could have her down here okay you can do that there's just so much you can do and what's fun is is have a few things cut out and then just start moving them around, you know, moving them around. The sticker book's not available in the Netherlands. Oh, Trudy. You don't have, well, I don't know. I don't know what shops are there or not or where you can order. But you see what I'm talking about? So, and maybe this, maybe she, this could be one. And then the cat could be diving down trying to get a fish. Let's see. Or a crab. Or, let's see. Let's go over here to because I did cut tear these out because I use these a lot. There's the crab, maybe a, just a fish though. Um, and I do have a lot of the little uh, corals and seaweed stuff. There's more shells, and butterflies, more corals. Oh, here we go. Here's some fish. Okay, let's pick some fish. These are upside down. Let's turn these over. Oh, I got some more Katherine Anderson uh, things here. Or no, maybe those aren't. Maybe these are part of this. No, those are Katherine Anderson. Those need to go over here. These are from another one of the other books. Those need to go over there. Okay, let's see. Let's see. What fish do I want him going after? I want something that's going to show up. You know, something. I don't know if I want it this bright of a blue. And he's a little big. Um, let's see. Was it Pacoa? I got uh, I got the idea from Janet. I don't know. Uh, let's see. That one looks too cute. I'm just looking here, I'm trying to decide which one I like. I kind of like this one, but it almost looks like the rocks. Probably needs to be something a little brighter that will stand out just a little bit from the rocks. Maybe this orange one. Let's go with this orange one here. There we go. Let's see. Let me look over here. I'm still liking this one. All right, let me cut this little guy out. 
<laughs> as soon as we do this, we'll do a couple more little elements just to play around. Just I just want you to kind of see how you can have fun with collage. Um, and it doesn't have to be a full on, you know, a whole abandoned book or a whole book, you know, or a big poster, which, you know, I do those too. Uh, it can just be some little cards. And I did sort out some of my, um, I did sort out some of my uh, collage uh, cards, put them in another tray because I sorted out my pens and pencils. So it kind of uh, goes along the way. So I got some uh, new pen and pencil holders to stack on top of my build here. So what that did is it freed up one of my silverware tray trays. And so I reorganized my art cards that I work on. And so I'll show you that in a minute. So I got that uh, kind of organized, my art cards, as not, not my uh, ATCs, my art cards, the four by um, three by four size. And that you're seeing that jiggle because I just bumped the table there where the camera cord is. So I'm thinking that this might be something popping out of here, but I have, I'll trim them down. But like something like this. And he's kind of popping out right behind this rock. There's my scissors. So I'm going to trim him down. There's my glue sticks. And another uh, idea is if you have old phone books or old magazines, they're good to open up and do your gluing on, then turn the page. So you always have a fresh page. We'll always have a fresh page to glue on. See, I don't really want him. I want him a little more trimmed. Let's see. Okay, I'm trim him just a little more. Like I'm kind of coming out from behind that rock right here. There we go. <laughs> and see, if I was painting it, I'd paint some white, a little bit of white foamy coming across there. All right, let's glue on our cat. <laughs> uh, are y'all talking about a different class? What are y'all talking about, Candy? Or the artist live stream? Oh, that you're talking about what a uh, hop is? Yeah. And again, Mary Altier is having, starting Friday, she's having a hop a journal making hop starting friday and she'll start it off um so you if you want to uh let's see i don't I'm kind of want him over here kind of let's trim that just a little there like he's coming down out of the sky <laughs> Maybe this part of the fish could be on the other side of the rock. No. Or he could be holding. <laughs> He's already caught half of them. <laughs> He's already caught half of the fish. <laughs> does that look terrible? I'm sure it does. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta do it. I have to do it. <laughs> yeah, dive bombing kitty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so anyway. And you could add more things. You could do as much as you want to make you a little. And you could put words if you want. Cut you out some words. Cut you out some words. You know, yeah, dinner. There we go. <laughs> Just cut out the word dinner. <laughs> Tracy said. All right, so now let's go back over to this little lady. Now, I tore her because I thought she was going to be in there behind the rocks. But now that she's going to be here on the edge... I'm going to trim her down so she fits on the edge. All right, so let's go ahead and glue these. <laughs> I'm so I'm so glad that Janet and I 
Thank you, Pecola. Um, now that we're hardwired with the Wi-Fi off, and again, I'm on Chrome. Janet went on Firefox, so I'll go back and look at the quality of this book, and I'll probably try Firefox as well on StreamYard so that we can have good connections. I, I was going to have a guest on Tuesday, and I canceled it because the quality was, no, this was Monday. It was after my stream on Monday. The quality was so bad. I canceled the guest and said, we're going to do this another time. Wait till after I get, um, you know, StreamYard clear enough to have a guest. And then Tuesday, yesterday, Janet and I came on and did an impromptu so we could test. Um, we could test it to see how uh, it worked with hardwire. Now, again, it's not 1080p. We only have 720 and I'm constantly trying to uh, I'm constantly trying to adjust the lighting. If I put something bright in here or if I put something dark or whatever, you know, and if we're zoomed in like this, it's a little less quality than it is if we're like that, you know, so. We're, we're trying we're trying to work it out so that we have good quality so that when we have guests. Okay, so there we go. Now I gotta see what else is she thinking or dreaming of. So she's got her house and maybe that could be enough right there. Just the fact that she's like thinking into the future because she's a Victorian lady and this is a modern, a mid-century modern house or, you know, maybe the 40s, I don't know. Maybe 40s, early 50s. Should be people on the roof. <laughs> uh, that, that would make a whole different story. That would be all right. I mean, you can do whatever you want. You know, that's the thing with collage. And again, you want to take your time, move things around, shuffle things around and get it, you know, get a scene that you really uh, are happy with before you glue things down. But just so you can see the I you can have funny ideas, fun ideas, poignant ideas. You know, I don't know if I have little tiny people or let's see. I don't, don't want to put a bug on her. Let's go, let's go this way. So there's some little florals. And I can do this. Uh, whoops, there's uh, all kinds of birds. Um, I'm just flipping. You know, I could put a bird flying. There's a little hummingbird. I think a little. I think hummingbirds. What are hummingbirds? Um, there's there's symbology for them. Hope is it hope? I can't remember. But I like this little one here. Does, have any of y'all ever, you know, in your society of idea collecting ideas, have you ever made a list of symbols and their meanings? Not just, not necessarily birds, but anything. Symbol, uh, symbology. Um, let's kind of wave that in a little bit. Made a list of that. So if you do a project and you want something sim symbolically, uh, put in your piece. Let's see, where does the feathers go there? Leave a little edge there. So it shows up in the sky. Everybody should have a list of that in their in their society of idea collector. Notebooks. There we go. <laughs> you like that, Stephanie? I want it flying. I don't know if I want it right over that. I think I want it over. Maybe, maybe I do want it in the rocks. It would show up good there, but I kind of like it in the sky. I'm going to put it in the sky. Let's 
something like that. Just gives it a little more oomph, oomph. You know, but you can have a sea creature coming out here if you want. <laughs> Um, yeah, an alien or a dinosaur peeking out behind the cliff. See, y'all have imagination. There's info on Mary's hop. Fibs Bill Friends announcement. Where is that, Cheryl? On her channel? Is that on her channel, little sister Cheryl? Because if you're talking about like a Facebook group, that doesn't help people that aren't in the group. So probably be best to go to Mary's channel to find out about the journal hop. Okay, so there we go. Just a little, you know, fun little page there and a little fun page there. Just so you can see what you can do. And you can always just glue these in, glue them into your journals or whatever, and uh, just have fun with it. All right, so let's back out a couple here. And now it's uh, right at 10 o'clock, so we're going to go ahead and do the giveaway. So again, this is how it works. This is how giveaways work. And I'm going to trust my mods to uh, tell me who, um, who wins them. But this is how the giveaways work. When I type in go, then you put in a number between 1 and 100. One number only. Trolls will be immediately kicked, banned, and never allowed to play again. <laughs> So you're going to put in a number between 1 and 100. The first two people closest, without going over, I'm going to send you each one of these books. Now, here's, here's the caveat. I'd like y'all to be uh, going to do Faithful Messes class or at least go test it out. I'm not saying if you get the book, you got to go, you know, be there for a year. I don't even know how long her class is going to be, but at least be interested in going and, and checking it out. Okay. Before you be a part of the giveaway, because I really want the people who are going to want to be in the class to uh, get a book, you know? Oh, okay. Thanks, Nancy. So anyway, um, this is what uh, Faithful Mess sent me a little note. Hi, Dee Dee. I'm starting an online group therapy series on my channel dubbed The Clinic. And it starts, our first sessions will be completing this activity book. We would love, she asked if I'd want to be there. Of course, it's on Monday nights at 9.30 p.m., which is too late for me to be in a class. Um, and she knows that. We already talked about it. But, uh, if, you know, and give keep one and give one away. But I'm going to give them both away because I'm not going to be in the class. So I want someone that's going to get use out of this to uh, get the books. Okay. So wait till I type in go. Again, I, I'm not going to force you to say you're going to be in the class or anything like that. I would just request that if you're going to at least go check out Faithful Messes um, class on YouTube. It's going to be on her YouTube channel. Then, 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 then be in the giveaway. And then I'll do another little giveaway for everybody else. Okay. So this giveaway is for anybody interested in Faithful Mess's class. The first two people closest without going over. A number between 1 and 100. Okay. Let me type in my line here. Let me get on my line. There we go. All right, go. All right, and I'll bring up random.org. Okay, is it showing up? I know my chat's probably frozen now. So hopefully the mods, there it goes. <laughs> Let me get random.org. While y'all are doing that. Okay. So, um, all right. So I'm bringing up random.org. Here's our little box between 1 and 100. And I'm going to generate a number. And the first two people closest to whatever number comes up. I usually just do them separate, but I figured this would be okay. So, all right. Anybody interested in it, just put in a number, one number only. I'm going to count down. So get your numbers in. Once I type in stop, no more numbers. So get them in now. I'm going to count down. 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so let's generate a number. Here we go. 27. The first two people to closest to 27 without going over. First two people closest to 27 without going over. And everybody can go scroll back, but I wait for at least two of my mods to give me a, a you know, confirmation. And then we will put that on each book. And then send me your address. I'll give you my email in just a minute. Um, give me your address, and then I will mail these out uh, Friday or Saturday, one or the other. Her classes start the first Monday of the end, or the last Monday of July, or the first Monday of of August. She, I don't think she's decided yet. So I'm waiting to see here. Um, Sharon and Vicky. Okay, do y'all mean all right, Miss Vicky B? Oh, and Shannon. Okay, so Miss Vicky B, who's our planner queen? Awesome. Miss Vicky B, and who's the other one? Sharon. Sharon Grau. Sharon G R A U. Is that right? Okay, I have Miss Vicky B's address, but Sharon, Sharon Grau, if you will send me your address here. Let me put it in. Send me your address. I do not share your address with anybody. I don't put you on an email list. Even my mods don't have your address unless you gave it to them. I don't share your addresses with anybody, and I don't put you on an email list, so just just FYI, okay? Thank you, Bacola. So, um, yeah, Sharon and Miss Vicki B., congratulations, and I hope you will uh, enjoy. And I will put on here, too, let me and just, I'll, I'll put this on the, um, it's Faithful, with two L's, Faithful Mess. And she is on YouTube. That's where the class is going to be. It's going to be on YouTube. But you can also contact her through Instagram. Okay? That's her name right there. Faithful Mess. All right? Congratulations. Now we're going to do another giveaway. Y'all want to do another giveaway? All right. So here we go. I've got some... And, and you can be international because the book is small. I'll send it with, if you, uh, I don't know where um, Sharon Grau is from, but I, it's fine. And the same thing for this. I, I got these on clearance at Michael's. So they still have their clearance tags on them, but I picked them up for giveaways for you guys. Okay. So I'm going to do what it's going to be one giveaway and it can be international uh, because I'll just put it in a, in a you know an envelope uh, let me zoom in here all right so don't put anything in yet no numbers yet wait till i type in go and it's going to be the same thing between one and 100 so i got these on clearance at michael's i got um jane davenport's it's it's one of her covers it's one of her canvas covers it's a it's a tn it's got the little journal in it. it's got the you know the you know the elastics so it's a TN cover, and it's a canvas one. I don't want to take it out of the plastic. And then this one is her, it's got three of her plastic uh, wraparound TNs. Again, tra Traveler's Notebook inserts. These wraparound, oh, there's four of them, I guess, in there. There's four. I think, I guess. It hasn't been opened, so I guess there's four in there. Three or, there's three or four in there of the wraparounds of plastic. They're plastic wraparounds. And then this one is some extra bands and a little charm and a little charm. So I'm going to do a giveaway of all this. 
And uh, even if you were, if even if you participated in the other one, that's fine. This is a separate one, so you can re-participate. My mods are always allowed to participate. Um, and this, and, and if you're international, you can participate. Okay. So we're gonna do this one. Wait till I type in go. Same rules apply. First person closest without going over. And you'll get this. So hang on a minute. Let me type in here. Okay. I'll give that a minute and let me get my random.org back up and we'll get another number in a minute. Okay. One number only. So, yeah, I thought that uh, when I saw these on clearance, I said, oh, these will be awesome for a giveaway. I have them all. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you. I have this, this, and this. So I thought, uh, you know, but for a giveaway, I had to buy them. I had to buy one of each for a giveaway because this will make a nice little tin package, you know, the cover. You, all you have to do is make either make or buy you some just little traveler's inserts which are very easy to make a piece of piece of cardstock folded in half and you're going to, uh, you know, bunch of them together, a bundle of them. And then you just put them in your book with the elastic and there you go. All right. I'm going to count down 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Okay. So now we're going to do another one here. So this was our last number. It was 27. So we're going to generate a new number. 86. First person. First person closest to 86 without going over. Okay. 86. So we'll see who wins this. <clears throat> so yeah, you all know me. I love to do some giveaways. And I try to do a book giveaway the first Wednesday of every month. Is this the first Wednesday? No. Is this the first Wednesday? No, this is we did a book giveaway last Wednesday. <clears throat> okay. Dorothy Dot want it? Okay, dot. Okay, is, I got three confirmations. Okay, dot. Okay, so Dorothy, you won the little traveler's notebook set. Did dot see she won? <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting for dot to see. So, and I know dot's in UK, but dot, send me your address again if you don't mind. Send me your address again. Uh, let me go ahead and put that in here. There we go. Send me your address again, Miss Dot. Let's see if she sees that she won. <laughs> I, I think my chat's a little lagged from uh, all the quick numbers. So let's see. Waiting. Can somebody say something in chat? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, I still don't see Dot saying anything. Oh, there she is. Okay, send me your address, Dot. Grab my email again and send me your address. Okay, so congratulations, Dot. Um, making Make yourself a nice little traveler's. All right, I'll send all that out either Friday or Saturday. All right, next, let me move my little um, collage things out of the way. Don't forget, guys, again, if you want to um, follow Scott Circlin over at uh, Cir Cirque Works or Scott Circlin YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description. But you can get his uh, new color books over on Amazon. And this one is Hipster Pugs that are punny. They're puns. And uh, this one's going to Reading with Jen Pugs. Um, but if you want to purchase uh, them or see other things that he has, follow him on his YouTube channel and go over on Amazon. And uh, I'll put links. I'll put links after the show. Okay. All right. So let's see. Oh, I want to make sure. Let me make a list. Scott, um, Faithful Mass. I'm trying to think of who else I want to uh, link at the end. 
who else did I want to link? Um, oh, Catherine Anderson. I'll put the links to all this in at in my description box after. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's move the collage stuff to the side for a minute. I hope y'all kind of got some ideas with uh, the collage books. And thanks, Colleen, for enabling. Colleen, our enabler. Let's see. I'm going to save my card from Faithful. And what else? Gonna clear a space. Okay, clear to space. All right, so next I thought what we would do was maybe do a little drawing in the tone tan sketchbook for a little while. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, guys. I hope y'all enjoy. You know, I try to do a giveaway at least once a week or every other. I know we, we were kind of uh, on a hiatus for giveaways during the virus, but... Uh, I think we uh, managed to have some fun ones. I'm just picking up scissors, pens, tapes. <laughs> and uh, let's see. I got my inks. All right. Make some space here for drawing. So I thought we would draw. I, 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 you know me. I love some lemurs. Let me get out my iPad and look up some... Uh, Something to draw here. Maybe we'll do a couple requests. I'm not doing it on the um, the uh, big the big scroll today. I'm just working on you know in a in a in a tone tan paper. Oh, thanks and hi, Joanne Ford. Okay, I am going to take a quick break though. I need to get something to drink. Hang on. Let me get to my photos here. Let's see what we can pick. I don't know. I'm kind of liking a chicken. We might do a lemur and a chicken. I don't, I'm, I'm seeing those pop up. <laughs> but let me take a quick break, guys. Let me take a quick break, and uh, I will, I'll be RB. Give me just a minute. I'm going to close the door if the cats don't get up there. off the floor and all the little animal toys that are all the little kitty toys they bring me while I'm streaming okay so these I want to put links to I live off post-it notes I'm telling you people I live off post-it notes <laughs> um, so but my idea here was is you know I always draw I always draw um with the big brown paper with the white pencil, which I still want to do that. I still want to draw with start with the white pencil. And I don't know if I want to paint in. I'm not sure yet. Do I want to paint some in? Do I want to just... I thought it would be fun to try to test. Uh, when I draw with white paper, I just use... a Most of the time, not always. I just use a... Um, a big by row pen and just sketch and don't erase and i don't really erase much anyway because i just leave the sketchy lines but i thought it would be fun to try some different things like um try some with a big pen let me just put big pen let's make a little list um white prisma i don't know if you can see this but and then maybe um, I'm just looking up here at my 
accoutrements. Maybe use a paint pen, or maybe a Posca. You know, I don't know. Some Posca, or we could color with some Posca. I just want to get get y'all like trying new things. Um, how about with just my sketch pen here? This is just like with a fountain pen. Fountain pen. What else? I'm just looking up here. I don't know what about a flare. Let's do a flare. Let's just I'm going to just use red because it shows up. This is a red flare. Any more suggestions? Oh, well, you can be fearless too. Let's see. Or we could do... Um, a ballpoint pen in a color. Let's see, what about uh, purple maybe? You know, a big, oh, we're gonna take the little tip off. This is, must be a new one. They come with those little balls on the end. Bic purple. Um, We have, I don't know about a Copic because you know, then I'm just gonna like, start thinking about going through the paper and all that. And Copics on brown, you got to do, that's kind of, you got to be, um, really think about your colors when you use a, a Copic on brown. Super tips, let's see. Let's get a red. Whoops, this one looks a little jacked up. I'll have to get another one out. This one looks a little old. <laughs> that one looks a little old. Let me clean the tip off. I'll use this one a hundred times. I have others though, trust me. I got duplicates. Let's get another red here. There you go. Okay. Um, more suggestions. Got the suit. Dark brown. Candy said dark brown. Okay, but what with what? Do we want to do a dark brown like with a Posca? Or do we want to do a dark brown with a um let me call it? I'm over here on my pins. Trust me, we have lots to choose from. <laughs> uh, a dark brown. Well, here, this is a Posca. Well, that's not dark brown, but that's a uh, kind of a medium brown. But we have um, like the, I don't have a brown in that particular brand. Let's see what else do we have. <clears throat> could do brown ink a brown ink oh babies uh. <laughs> yeah uh, okay neo color twos yeah, let me get a neo color two water soluble uh. Okay, so Neo Color 2, dark brown. I think I, this one's going to probably turn out <clears throat> to look almost black. Let's do it with this, this brown, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so with uh, Neo Color 2, and again, we got, whoops, we flat, sorry guys, I bumped the thing. Got a little flashed out with the lighting there let's move that so with the neo color two now if you use a neo color two you want a neo color two that are water soluble the neo color one excuse me baby the neo color ones are not water soluble okay and if you're going to do wet on this paper, you probably really should do the mixed media paper. This is just the thin sketch paper because it will buckle. Anything you do wet is going to buckle, right? It's going to buckle uh, on this paper. Now, I have the thicker paper too, but just saying. Um, gel pens. Okay. Oh, baby. No, 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 baby. Come on. No, you can't lick that. All right. Turn the brightness down just a little there. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, gel pen. The thing about gel pens is they can be skippy. They can be skippy. Let's see which gel pens do I want to use. I've got four, three or four different brands. Here's the, oh no, these are the Signo. What are these? These are just, these aren't, I don't know if these are gel pens. What are these? These are Uniball Signo. I think these are just writing pens. I don't know that they're, these are just the Signo. What are they called? DX. I don't know that they're gel pens, but look how fine point they are. There's like a 0 0.5. That's going to be too small to show up on camera. Uh, how many water brushes a pack? How much do they cost? It depends on the brand. I usually buy the individual ones. The, uh, what do they call it? Pentel. The Pentel water brushes, they come in different sizes. I think both of these are the same size. Um, this is the same size. They come in uh, thin, medium, and thicker. I like the Pentel ones. And you can tell them because they have this kind of a barrel. They have this um, kind of shape to them. I like these. Um, that's just my favorite. But there's all kinds of brands. Um of water brushes. And I think this one doesn't even have any water in it right now. Um, I'm trying to think, of course there's ink. We can always use uh, a brush and ink depending. And I like to use ink for mostly for getting those thick black lines real quick or filling in. If I have a big thick black area, what are you doing baby? No, 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 no. <sighs> she decided she want to explore. Uh, so, uh, so if you want to use a brush and ink, you know, well, let me just bring some out here. So just to show you here, just put a little ink out here. Now to close this, this is going to get ink on here. So I always try to use a baby wipe to close the lids here. Because I always get it everywhere. So I want to close it using a baby wipe because see. I don't, this is permanent on you. <laughs> so this is just some Kohenor ink. Uh, you can use it for, let me get a uh, nib up here. You can use a nib. You can use a nib. Or you can use a um, brush. And it's nice because it's very black. So if you have some really black areas or large areas that you want filled in with black, depending on what you're using, what you're working on. Like if I'm using a, in a color book, I'll use black acrylic paint. But if I'm doing a drawing, you know, you can use a, a, a nib pen or a brush. Let me dig over here for a brush or a thin one. <clears throat> This one's kind of ratty, I think. There's a little hair there. So you can just do so much with ink. All right, let's see. Oh, thanks, Joey. <laughs> I'm in love with Malibu, too. Oliver hasn't been up here. He's uh, but he'll sometimes it's him that comes in, sometimes it's uh, Malibu. Today it seems to be Malibu. Um, did I see Jane Davenport's glass dip pen release? No, I did not. I do have a glass dip pen, but I never use it. <laughs> I have a couple actually. A sister woman, Jonna, and Darcy brought me back one from the UK, and um, I have another one that um. Boo bought me just at like um, Barnes and Noble. So I have a couple glass nib ones. I do have, I do have a couple of the Jane Davenport pens. Here's one of them. One's, is it little one gold? Did I pull it out? Well, anyway, I've got a couple of the Jane Davenport uh, just, uh, you know, yes. I just pulled the, the one I pulled was this this uh pen just because i just didn't want to have a bunch of duplicates out um okay so they, these are not these um signos are, are more for writing they're very thin thin and i don't mind now i don't mind sketching with them or drawing with them but it's not going to show up on camera 
Uh, let's see. Of course, we always have our brush pens. You can use a brush pen. You can get the brush pens at um, Jet Pens. This one's probably out already. I use this one all the time. I've got multiples of those. Or you can use um, like a food a touch kind of pen. These have the plastic nibs, plastic nibs, and you can get thin and thick with a plastic type nib. And you can also get this type of pen. Um, what brand is it? Uh, I think it's I'm looking up here. Mm, there's a brand that you can get. It's PN because I think it stands for plastic nib. But you can get them. I think it's through my. I think Micron. It's Micron, Micron PN. And I got some here, but I'm just not seeing it right off the top here. Micron PN, and they have the plastic nibs, and you can uh, get those like at Michaels or Hobby Lobby. But go on jet pens just to look around to get ideas from jet pens. So, hi, APG Jamie. Who else is popping in? Anybody else I missed? So, usually when I sketch on tone tan paper, I'm using the white Posca and black ink. If even if it's just a black pen, like a brush pen or something, not necessarily uh, poured ink, but white Posca and and uh, you know, unless I'm using paint, like when I'm doing on the big. Let me grab one. Our scrolls. Here. Here's a bee. Remember, here's the B we did. We did this one a while back. So usually when I'm drawing on brown paper, it's big like this. It's on the I call it the art scroll. And all it essentially is is shipping paper. It's brown shipping paper. Where's the dog? Here it is. Here's a dog we did. I'm not going to pull all these out now. I've done it not too long ago. But this, what we do with these is I sketch them out with a white Conti crayon. White Conti crayon. And then we just start painting. Okay, usually when I'm sketching in a sketchbook for you guys, on white paper, I just go with a ballpoint pen. So let's just see what we want to do. Rolled up things out of the way. Okay, so this is still wet, so I'm going to tear it out and move it out of my way. All right, let's make some space. And again, if you want to use watercolor or neocolor too, water-soluble crayons, you want paper that, this is just sketchbook paper, and it's going to buckle. It will, um, it will buckle your paper if you use water on this. Okay. All right. So let's see. Um, let's look at a rooster. Oh, and then the other, I did draw a rooster the other day. In, here, let's go back to this book. So this is what I've been drawing my animals in, is in the big 600 pound oversized sketchbook. Get it on Amazon. It's huge. It is, let me get a ruler. This book is 11 and a half. Is it 11 and a half? Yeah, 11 and a half by 13. 11 and a half by 13, and it's like two inches maybe more thick. Two inches, two inches thick. And it weighs a ton. And it's 600 pages. <laughs> Thank you, Dot. Thank you. I am a, today's Wednesday, maybe tomorrow, but probably Friday or Saturday, I'll get the mail, happy mail out. So I've done a couple of things in here, some animals. So I'll show y'all what I've been doing and what uh, book I've been using. Okay. So what I've been doing is using this that Kathy Arbor made us buy. So this is a Kathy Arbor enabling. And then Janet got it. And then I and then between the two of them, I got this. 
So it's more for an initial idea rather than just a whole bunch of the exact same things. Because what this book does, and I've already gone through it, I'm not going to go through it now, is it gives you, and, and you start by shapes. You start by shapes, and if you want to draw some animals, it gives you the shapes. Well, here, maybe you can see better over here. So it gives you the shapes and then uh, a progression of drawing of, you know, whatever. And there's lots of animals in it. Yeah, it is. I like it because of the animals. You all know I love to draw animals. But there are people and other things in it, too. Uh, transportation and food and there's lots of things. So what I was doing with this book was taking one, the, the, the picture and then drawing one. Let's see. Let me see if I can find the llama or um, I think it's under llama. Let me find it. Hang on, guys. Let me find the llama. It might either be a llama or al 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 alpaca. But it might be llama. No, it must be under alpaca. Hang on. I'm going to find it for you so I can show you what I've been doing. I'm looking in the... Uh, I'm looking in the... Uh, 155 in the index this, this thick this book is thick look it's an encyclopedia what did i say 155 <laughs> okay so what i did is i took one the face like here so i took this face and i drew it big in the middle and then what i went went and looked up i went and looked up all these other alpacas and llamas and looked them up and just found all kinds of different ones to draw fernando llama <laughs> some of y'all will get that fernando llama <laughs> anyway um so i've been trying to do just sketches of animals like the main thing and then go find other other um animals online google images or whatever and then what I've been doing on this side is drawing a cartoony version of the animal. So it's, this one's not done. I got a piece of glue or something there, paint maybe. But anyway, uh, and then I'm trying to draw like a kind of a cartoony one from the, uh, based off of the animals. How are we doing? Does it look a little, oh, did it get really dark? Let's see. That's probably because we've got white paper here again. So, you know, there we go. That's a little better. So that's what I've done with a few animals. Okay, here's where I've done a mouse. And the same thing. I got the mouse, the one, the big face out of the encyclopedia. And then I just looked up. Now, this one I just made up, a little granny mouse. But, um, <laughs> and then just looked up different ones on, uh, google images or pinterest you know wherever and then this one look i put listen what listen listen <laughs> so then just doing my own little cartoon version of them on the other side and uh so that was that one then we did here's a rabbit So did a little bunny and I did do him kind of a little longer and skinnier than what was in the book and then just found some different ones. This one I gave fangs to and then here's my little black and white cartoony image of the same kind of thing. Thanks, Pacola. Pacola put in a link to the sketchbook encyclopedia. And then I just practice like writing bunny or rabbit or just something to practice my little brush lettering and kind of just fill in the space, you know. Let's see. Then we got a couple more, I think, in here. Let's see. Okay, then I did some little piglets. <laughs> little pig butt. Mrs. Pig and the Piglets. I haven't done a cartoon one of, of this yet. But uh, and this is supposed to be a fence. It looks funny because it's kind of in between. <laughs> but anyway, it's just kind of shaded in there with some wheat. But uh, <laughs> you like the little uh you like the little uh, cartoons, cat and paste? Yeah, I haven't done one for the pigs yet. So I just look them up and I just sketch them with a ballpoint pen. I want to see if I can get it close enough where you can see. It's just with a ballpoint pen. 
and then filled in some of the blacks are filled in with either ink either ink or an ink brush pen you know whatever is easiest you know so and then i'm writing writing with just a food a touch nib so anyway yeah and just little piglets yeah little piggies and then this is <laughs> i saw a picture of this rooster and you if you look on images you'd probably find almost the exact same thing because i love this picture and i want it. i might want to draw it again or something similar and i i haven't drawn anything else now this one is not out of the book this is just right off of google images <laughs> the rooster I had to draw that face. I had to draw that rooster face. I think I don't have it handy. But anyway. And then I added, you know, purple and kind of lavender and purple uh, shading in it and some other shading. <laughs> Maybe I should do another one like this for the print, for the thank yous, for the super chat a month and the, and the, uh, uh, PayPal tip jar. Maybe I should do a rooster or a page of rooster. I could do the rooster and one like this and then do some sketches around it. I don't know. Would anybody want rooster? Rooster page? Let me make a note of that. Let me get a pen. Rooster. <laughs> okay. Let's do, I'll do a rooster. I won't do that now because I want to take my time with it. Rooster. Uh, thank you. Rooster things. That, that'll just tell me what it's for. Okay, so I made a note of that. But I have, you know, I just did some little dots around here, but, you know, I didn't want to, I just, that's all that's in this book. That's all that's in this whole book. And, uh, but I was kind of keeping it for this kind of thing. My ballpoint pen, ballpoint pen sketchbooks. Now I could do, I could skip over here. I could draw another rooster. Um, the thing was, is I was trying to, just do something different for you guys. Maybe I'll do two different ones. I'll do one on brown paper and one on white paper. Now, the one on the white paper, I will do with a ballpoint. That's purple. I could do with purple too, but it just looks better with black. Black ballpoint pen and sketch out a rooster. And then maybe we'll do one with white pencil. Do one with white pencil and black and white do black and you know like with the inks so i got this ink poured out here i want to use it <laughs> so maybe we'll do one of each okay so now i have some picked out uh in my photos i don't want to do the exact same one we just did so and then the what the girls made me do was use super tip this the color that you see is just super tip it's just the super tip um super tip markers you know these crayola super tip markers so if you see any color anywhere not the ink that not this this was this actually this particular one was acrylic black acrylic paint but any of the color i just use the the little super tip crayola markers because they don't go through they don't go through all right so let's go over to another blank page double the fun yeah we'll work for about an hour all right so um so what what you kind of what I do, and if you're not sure how to um, fit something on a page, you you know just make some make your shapes first. Make your shapes if you're more comfortable, um, and that's what the encyclopedia uh, one tells you to do. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of sketch in his what's it called? Is it called his crown? What is it called? His uh, no, it's not a crown. What's that called? Uh, the head his headpiece. What is that on a rooster? So with the ballpoint pen, this is how I did all my Inktobers too. I did all my Inktobers the same way. My movie monsters, my movie monsters, uh, my way for Inktober. I just, this is how I did all of them. I just, I just free handed them and I just very loose, very sketchy. And then I'll, I'll put the details in with darker ink or, um, you know, more details. So don't be afraid just to get a pen. Here, the thing about doing a pen, Danny Gregory, if y'all follow, have ever followed Danny Gregory, um, he always wants you to draw with pen too because it just forces you to really look at what you're drawing. It forces you to look at it more closely. Crest. Yeah, I bet that's what, a comb. 
a comb, a comb and a crest, a comb and a crest and a crown. I'm going to write those down. Let me get my, let me get my, uh, a comb. A crest and a crown. Now, here's I'll tell you exactly what I'm thinking of when I'm writing this down with this rooster. Now, what this is making me want to do is take notes for the Society of Idea Collectors. So, a comb. This is also making me want to think of a comb, like an actual hair comb. So, I'm going to make a little note there. This is a little comb. You can't probably tell. A crest, I'm thinking now, I'm thinking maybe some kind of a, a crest, you know, on his chest or something, you know, uh, like a family crest. Let me write that here. A family crest. You know, maybe it has some kind of designs around it. And then a crown as in like a king or queen crown with little jewels, you know. So, yeah, there's my notes. <laughs> it's a comb. Uh, waddle is the hanging part. Okay, so we'll, we'll, I'll write that down once I get the waddle in. <laughs> and see, when I think of waddle, I think of somebody kind of like a duck, like a duck waddles. You know how a duck waddles? That's what I think of when I think of a waddle. <laughs> so here's the waddle. And the waddle actually is even bigger or longer than the uh, comb is uh, in proportion, or at least as, as much. Um, this is kind of like, well, I'll just draw it. So the waddle here. And of course, you don't have to copy exactly. You can exaggerate it. You can make it whatever you want, you know, do it yourself. Okay, Bacola, um, you know, make it funny or draw, try to kind of draw one as kind of exact as you can and then draw like I did the cartoon ones and try to kind of make up your own, you know, make up your own little um, creek characters, you know. This is, you know, just sketch it in. And then it almost looks like he has this part. Let's see what part here. This part over here, it, it looks like another, some other kind of flap of skin. <laughs> I, don't I don't know what the side waddle. <laughs> is, that a, is there such a thing as a side waddle? <laughs> this right here. <laughs> And then here's all the feathers. <laughs> and let's make them a little bigger here. Let's make it a little bigger. <laughs> uh, is Mar Mary? Mary, we have been talking. I'm going to keep drawing. You tell it. You talk, Mary. Um, Mary is, is doing a hop starting Friday. We've been talking about you all morning, Mary is going to be doing a hop where she shows you how to make, or everybody's making their own. I'm not sure. I don't know all the deets. So you have to follow Mary or maybe Mary can say, um, a, uh, making a journal hop starting Friday. And then I'm sure what will Mary will do is she'll put links to the next person, the next person or the next person that are in the hop on Friday. I don't know what time, what time Mary, so go to the Mary Altier. It's, let me hear. There's Mary's name. Seven of us in the hop. So go to Mary Altier right there and uh, her channel and follow the hop. Follow the hop. Put any, put any other details you want to talk about, Mary, because we've been talking about it all morning. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, let's make this side waddle a little bigger here. Now, in the picture, this side waddle here is like pink and white, model-y looking. But I, I don't know if I want to do that. I might want to just make mine all red. Or are they always white and red? I'm not sure on roosters. Maybe I have another picture. Are they always white? Yeah, they are kind of always white. No, there's one with red. 
So I guess they are different colors. That one's red too. Okay, so they're not all they're not all white. This the, the picture I'm looking at right now. This part is red and white, almost like pink. But there's other ones that are red. So that's what I want to do. I want to keep it all red. So it will be a simple summer journal work along. I'm trying to get her. <laughs> Did you have a theme? Is there a theme, uh, Mary? It's a work along. A pretty blue with purple. Jamie said, Jamie wants me to make my uh, rooster all all uh, fun, all funky colors. And then feathers, all kinds of feathers in here. Have a few sticking up off his back over here like that. Theme is summertime. Okay, there we go. So y'all go over to Mary's channel if you're interested in the Friday hop. The Friday hop. And what did she, she say? It was 7. Is that What time was that? 7 a.m.? Let me go back. What time was it? Se oh, no, 7 people. What time, Mary? What time's your, because I think you're, you're kicking it off, right? What time are you kicking it off? <laughs> uh, on Friday. <clears throat> 6 p.m. Okay, Candy said 6 p.m. Is that central? 6 p.m. central? I want to click on it, whoever has the correct answer. I'll wait, I'll wait on Mary to answer there. All right, so let's see. Do I want to go ahead and add some black in here now? Maybe I want to make this a little thicker. Okay, Mary said 6 p.m. Central Friday. There we go. You got it from Mary. Got it straight from her. There we go. So there's our little rooster. Now I want to, um, I think I'll go ahead and use a brush. This brush, I want a little tighter brush. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe this one. A little smaller, a little, little uh, springier. Okay. So y'all can ask Mary questions while y'all got her. Oh, y'all have Mary. Oh, let's move this over here. Then we're going to do another, we'll do another rooster. And then I, I can draw little ones around, little ones, you know, clicking around. <laughs> so let's just see what we want to do here. So just ask Mary any questions that y'all have. Okay. I think she said seven people, Kenny. So would it be at least an hour each? I'll keep trying to look up at chat and see any more details that y'all post about it. We like to promote, especially when someone's getting doing something like a hop where there's tons of people in it. You want to, that's just a way to promote. And that's why Mary does it. You know, she's going to, she'll be promoting six or seven other people other than herself. And, you know, and, and you click from person to person and you find, you know, all the different um, artists that are making books or drawing or whatever the, whatever the project is. So thank you, Mary, for helping promote others. We try to, we all try to do that as much as we can. Let's see, I want a little. I can add a little tiny 
scratchy details, like it's very rough skin, like very textury, model-y. Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. There's the hot members. Mary, who's starting it off. Crafting Mama, Jersey Crafter, Painty Girl, Lizzie, Anne, and Sharon Marlowe. There you go. Now, is it one or two hours each? Oh, 45 minutes each. Okay. I won't click on that because I'll leave the names up here. There you go. So there we go. That all be fun, Mary. I'll try to make some of them. I'll try to make a few. And, I'm, and of course, everybody can go watch recordings as well. You know, it'll be recorded. So you can always go watch more recordings. Yeah, that will be fun. All right, so let's see. Now I'm going to do some little feathers here. Then we'll do one on brown paper. She is skinny. Mary is awesome. She she has more, I mean, she has more ideas. You know, we all talk about our society idea collectors. Mary, like, would be the queen. She would get the crown. Mary would get the society of idea collector crown. <laughs> uh, okay, so there we go. There's a little start. Let's put another one over here. Maybe a maybe a little one, a couple here sticking out. Yeah, that's good. All right, so there's our base. There's our base. And let me clean my brush now. All right, now I'm gonna heat it, hit it with a heat gun so I can dry it, so I can go back in there and do some more. Oh, thank you, Mary. Very sweet. We inspire each other, Mary. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in here with my pen. All right, let's see if I can get... I'm just going to try to put... Uh, Trying to um, make that little work. There we go. Okay, so now we can do a few things. I can add some more little details that are thinner. I could have done this with the pen, to, I mean, with the uh, ink too. But what I want to do now is, and I like to scribble. That's just my way of uh, shading. You can do all kinds of things to shade. You can do like cross hatching, you can do cross hatching, thin or thicker and lighter to make, you know, um, shading. You can do, um, well, what I like to do is I like to do scribbles, but there's all different ways you can do uh, shading. Please watch the scribble. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, Ru Rupon, Rupon? Are we, is somebody spamming? Okay, the all right, do we have to do we have to we have to time you out? We're gonna have to time you out. <laughs> okay, so let's just go ahead and uh, add a little bit more. And then what I'll do is up in here, this is all his uh all his uh comb. Did we decide it was a comb? That do we need the check mark next to the comb? <laughs> next to the comb um, is very textured. So you could add a lot of it or just some, uh, give it essence of texture, like just show some texture. 
And this is the detail. This is this is the parts that let me see. Maybe I'll zoom in. This is the part that you know these take the most time. And of course, we're going to lose some clarity, but I think I think we're still good. I'll try to hold my pen far back so it's not in the way. And uh, then you just start doing the the scribbling to start shading. And it, and it does take some time if you want to do it well. Like if you want to blend out these lines, like I'm trying to do here, it's going to take you a minute. It's going to take you a minute to, to blend that line out. But you, then you can add some little areas like this that just kind of show that it's it's rough like the the comb has texture to it so you can kind of add some some of that texture to it are you able to see this well you know you, you just gotta you have to practice i'm not gonna lie <laughs> you know? um uh, inktober is a good way to practice I did 31 of these kind of drawings just this year, and I've done Inktober for five years. I don't do a lot of inking because uh, I'm doing mostly pencils drawing, you know, portraits and color pencil. So I spend most of my time doing color pencil. But I like to ink, um, and you have to do a lot of practice to get good at it. But Inktober is a good way. Inktober is a good way to get some practice in. I don't know if I, maybe I'll pull out my monsters in a little bit. Let's finish him up first. Um, it's a good way to make you draw something every day for 31 days. And again, I've done it for five years. And that's just only one, you know, that's just once a year for a month. That's not, I wouldn't consider that, you know, <laughs> an expert by any means that's just kind of how I keep my hand in it how I keep you know my hand into inking is by doing inktober every year uh because I don't ink year I don't do a lot of inking year round yeah I'm gonna do it this year I think I think this year I might do it in the tone tan um I've never I've not done the uh inktober in tone tan before let me move some of this off my table here I've always done it on white paper. Now I've done it different sizes every year. Every year I do a different size. Last this last year on movie monsters, I did them large. I did them for Inktober. I mean, it's not it's not like my scrolls. It's not that big, but I did them. I think eleven by fourteen, twelve by fourteen. I don't know. I'll I'll pull them out in a little while. But anyway, um, they were the largest Inktober that I've ever done in five years. One year I just did them like uh, little tiny ones. And uh, they're all on my, they're all on my Instagram. If you want to see all my Inktobers, they are on Instagram. For the last five years. And uh, so this year, I don't know what the, th you know, I've never followed the theme. You know, um, Jake Parker gives you a theme every, I mean, uh, a prompt every day. He gives you a prompt um, and I've never followed the prompts. I've always just done my own. One year I did everything under the sea. Last year I did movie monsters my way. Uh, one year I did my cats in costume. I did cats, calligraphy, cats and calligraphy. I think I titled it and I did, um, I drew my cats in costumes <laughs> for, a, for a month. Uh, one year I did kanji. That was the year I did everything real simple. It was one big kanji symbol and one um, one uh, image. To, it was it was my challenge to myself to see how simplified I could do Inktober, and it was pretty simplified. So I did that. Bye, Devin. Bye, Kenny. Sorry if I missed y'all leaving already. Thanks everybody for being here, and thanks for all the lurkers. Um. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out and just, you know, arting some. Hopefully you're arting along or getting some inspiration or, you know. Um, 
playing along or doing something, even if it's just a sketchbook and a ballpoint pen, you know, uh, if you like, if you like the idea of just drawing with pen, go, go check out Danny Gregory. I've got all his books are not handy right now. They're in the other room, but uh, do um, he's got a few books out on drawing every day, drawing what you see, you know, just drawing everything around you. Let's put a little bit more comey bits in here, like a little texture in there. You know, and I'm just looking at a picture, but I'm not trying to copy it exactly. I really, unless I'm doing a portrait commission, I don't care if it's exact. I mean, it is good to try to do it as best you can, especially if you're just starting out drawing what you see. You really want to try to, like, focus on the what you're drawing. And you always want to look at what you're drawing way more, like probably 80% of your time, you're looking at what you're drawing rather than your drawing itself. Um, but I don't ever really care if I'm trying, I'm not, unless I'm doing a portrait, I'm not trying to copy it exactly. You know, I, I I'm like letting my pen have fun. <laughs> so, oh, okay, Devin. Oh, well, welcome back, Devin. <laughs> Candy was leaving. Okay. So anyway, but if you kind of scribble along the edge of your ink, uh, thicker ink lines, you can kind of blend. You can blend your ink out. And again, I like to do the scribbly, messy look. And you can always go in there back in here with a pin, with a brush. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. You can always go back in here with a brush and add some more thickness or some more little extra, you know, something, something. And then go back and play around those things again. See, so it just gives it more texture. So do thick and thin. Have a lot of contrast, a lot of light and dark. And gives it more, more uh, life, if you will. And I can put some water in, water my ink down and shade with uh, to make it like gray. Or you can use Copics, gray shade with Copics. And again, I am no inking expert. I, I'm just going to be honest with you. I just piddle. I just piddle around with the inking. <clears throat> but because I ink, I mean, I draw and color and art every day, you know. Um, oh, okay, can you brush your hair? <laughs> Okay, and and you can take as much time as you want. You can have as much detail as you want. You know, you can you can do uh, as much as you want, and you could you could work on this one drawing all day long. Seriously, you could work on one drawing all day. I usually just don't because I kind of like the idea of sketchy and just sketching a bunch of stuff. But it just depends on your what your purpose uh, is of doing it. Are you just want to have fun? You just want to practice? Are you doing a stream and you got to kind of hurry uh, and you want to get stuff done or whatever your you know whatever the reason is? Are you trying to learn about roosters and you doing a study of them and you want all the parts? <laughs> uh, And also another good thing to practice is if you if you're watching TV or something, have a sketchbook or some paper, a sketch, you know, like some paper with on a clip on a on a clipboard and your pen and just, you know, whatever you're watching on TV. It, again, don't don't care or don't worry if it does you know, you're drawing some, you know, some guy on TV or girl on TV and it doesn't look anything like the real person. It, the idea is that you're getting better and better at moving your pen around and capturing essence of something just by just the, by the act of doing it you're going to get better at it um hi tiffany bye kenneth 
You're going to get better at it just by doing it. So we'll see how far I can get on this before I decide we need to go on to the, before we go on to the uh, brown paper one. So anybody have any questions or who here who here has done Inktober? Who's who has started it and who has finished it? Who's done Inktober? Raise your hand if you've done October. Hi, Lady Jan. Uh oh. Oh, the quails got into your hen house and ate all your crack corn. <laughs> no, I don't even know if she's serious sometimes, Lady Jan. She can make up a story on the fly. Might might or might not be true. It might be a fable. <laughs> Tiffany says she started it. Big Mama Bird said she did it once. Janet's done it. Faithful, hi, Faithful Mess. We gave away your two books today. We gave away your two books today, Faithful Mess. Um, Miss Vicki B and Sharon Grau, G R A U. Those are the two that won the giveaway. So thank you for sending those. I sent everybody over to your YouTube channel faithful mess to join your group let's see bye mary uh, devin said she did inktober for the first time this last year devin was your first year i see b um the big mama bird says and i've done a hundred days once too that's a commitment right there a hundred days. Yeah. So um, hopefully they'll come over and peruse your your project, Faithful Mess. So let's keep working on this for a little bit. And uh, then we'll draw a different one with uh, black and white on the brown tone tan paper, just to do something another something else different. But um, the thing, a nice thing about a bic or biro, wherever you're from, what's nice about it is you can get thin and thick lines and dark and light. You wouldn't think you could do that <laughs> with a pen, but with a with a ballpoint pen, you can. You can get really dark, push, give some pressure, and you can get dark, thicker lines, and then light pressure. Look, you wouldn't think you could do that with the pen. You'd think that it would just be a solid, like here, like, you know, it would be solid. Like when I use the brush, well, even that I could get thicker and thin. But you wouldn't think that you can get thick and thin um, marks with the, with the ballpoint pen, but you can. And, of course, the more you go over it, you can just get darker and darker and darker, too. So, <clears throat> Devin said 2019 was our first year. You did a cat thing. I kind of remember it. I kind of, for some reason, I'm kind of, it's kind of familiar to me. I follow so many people. I don't remember exactly what every person's art is, but it's probably on Instagram, right, Devin? On Instagram. And then again, the girls were making me uh, put some color in it. 
coloring these with, uh, I say making me, no one's making me, but you know, but like, um, let's see, what do we do? Just, just pick a couple. Now again, uh, Copics or, or hoo-hoos or anything, I'm just going to go through. So you got to be careful, you know, it will go through. So I should probably just stick with, just stick with uh, the uh, super tips. So let's see here. Now let's do a little bit of yellow first coloring. Super tips won't go through unless you just keep going over and over and over it where it will, um, what do you call it? Just peel your paper or wet your paper so much. Just start with getting something in the eye there. And of course, you know, I always love my Posca. Love my Posca for the highlights. I didn't let that dry. I have to let it dry. It's still wet. <clears throat> Let's see what else is going on. Hi, Betty Jo. You did it for the first time in 219. Did you follow the prompts? Hi, Abigail. Abigail did Happy October in 2017. I got to show, I got to show Abigail's, uh, journals that she posted over on Facebook. Let me see if I can find her. So what did y'all do, um, Betty Jo, when the first time you did it on 2019? What did you, did you follow the prompts? Let me get over here. Hang on, I'm going to find her little journal here. Hopefully, ah, here it is. Okay, I'm going to show the video. If, do you mind if I show it, Abigail? I guess I could ask. <laughs> I'm just going to show your videos. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Bean juice equals brain cells. That's for sure. And by Lady Jan, what she means is coffee. <laughs> I think. <laughs> okay. Um, white Posca is very necessary. So look at this. She made this, and I told her she needs to be making these as um, commissions, but I'm going to show it here. Let's see if you can see it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Look. Look at these journals she makes. Look at the vintageness of it. I know. Right, Patricia? Patricia's going, wow. I told y'all she needs to she needs to sell these. And I, and I know that, is, that you don't you don't whip one of these out in an hour. So yeah. I loved it. I loved it. I know, right? Isn't that awesome? So, yeah, maybe y'all can talk her in if y'all want to buy one. Talk her into selling some of them. Just saying. Just saying. Let me eliminate this cheek a little lower here. Let's bring this cheek down a little. Let's bring this down. I'm going to work on just for a couple more minutes because I want to get, I want to at least start the other one in the, uh, on, on the brown tone tan paper. Isn't it amazing, Anne? I know, right? Alrighty. And again, we can add just even even if you don't fill it in you can still add some okay this is the this is the crap one here 
Just add a little bit of <coughs> and then um let's see a maroon color. And these are just the again, these are just the water based, the water based super tip crayola you can get like i don't know 50 of them for nine dollars or less and that's without a coupon you got a coupon you can do you can do it even cheaper so uh let's put a little um let's do a light light what color do i have here i don't have a mm, let's see i'm doing a cream color let me just get a couple little little tan in there and then just a slight bit of yellow on top like a two-tone color there so you can start just adding a little a little color or a lot of color depending on how much you want to do and then at, now I gotta let this dry. Let me hit it with a heat gun. You want it to be dry before you go back in there with your pen. Otherwise, you're just gonna be like tearing up, peeling is what it's called, peeling up your paper if that's not dry. So you want to make sure if you go back with your ink, your pen on top of on top of the wet marker it's going to ruin your it's not ruin your pen it's going to tear your paper so make sure you dry it or let it dry before you go back over it with detail <clears throat> all right so there you can see how we're starting that going here with more shading or you could put more color I started doing them all in just black and white, and then a couple people go, add some color. So let me go back and show you real quick. On the, Here's the llamas and the alpacas. And then what I've done from here is I took and picked one and then turned it into a, like a little cartoon one. It's not done. It's just sketched out. And then let's see. I'm really zoomed in. Here's the mice. Little, gra little grandma mouse over there with the little walking stick. And then here's a little mouse cartoon version. And I haven't done a cartoon version yet of the pigs. But there's the little pigs. There's a little, little pig butt. <laughs> so it's all just done with, uh, with a um, big ballpoint. And then some thicker ink. Thank you. Did I have, uh, I have, where's the rabbits? I have some rabbits in here somewhere. Where are the bunnies? And here are the bunnies. Added some fangs on that one. And then I've got a little bunny over here cartoon one and then we're working on this rooster but we did this other rooster here <laughs> it's just so funny thank you Devin, for the 20.99 $20.99 uh canadian super chat thank you so much i will put you on the list for the new rooster Devin. i'm <laughs> i'll put you i'm got my little look rooster thanks I'm adding Devin on there. <laughs> Although I think, and also from, from uh, the last couple weeks, I try to do every three weeks or so, I try to do the thank yous. I think you have a little traveler's notebook coming your way, Devin. One of my, I was making those handmade journal ones. I think you got one of those heading your way. 
it just takes a you know it takes a week or two to get to Canada. Okay, so thank you so much. Oh, let's click on it. I forget I can do this. <laughs> Cock a doodle doo, Dee Dee. <laughs> I always forget I can click on it. <laughs> thank you so much. That's so sweet. <laughs> and I like your little cat. Is that is that little cat from your Inktober? Is that little cat from your Inktober, Devin? Thank you, Pacola. So again, you know, it's let's see, it's adding some color here or there, and then and some shading here. <clears throat> oh, it's your hand carved stamp you made for Inktober. That's so cute. Can y'all see her name right there with the little hand carved cat stamp curled up? So cute. All right, so I'm going to do this waddle here. And then I haven't done anything up here in this comb yet or anything like that yet. But I want to do at least a start uh, in the, uh, let me dry that, in the tone tan one. Could actually, let me get my brush. Actually have a little bit more. Put it in here. I gotta clean my brush out. Don't let your ink or paint sit in your brush. You did get the shell napkin one. Okay, no, this is a different one. This is a different one uh, with the. Uh, I'm pretty sure you. I sent you one. I'll double check. And just keep doing scribbles and shading with the pen. You can go back and forth between the colors and everything. You just got to be careful that what whatever you're using, I don't think that's going through. No, it's not going through. But uh, it's just sketchbook paper. Let's move up here. All right, let me work five more minutes on the rooster on this one, and then we're going to go over. I'm going to back out, and we're going to sketch one out. We're going to sketch another one, a different one, on the tone tan paper. Just so you can kind of get some idea what do you like to do. What kind of paper, whatever. And, of course, all these little feathers in here can be more accented and more... You know, and I like kind of having a sketchy, I like kind of having a sketchy outline on my pieces. You know, you know, might you might not like that uh, when you do it, but I just like I like the because I'm doing it with a ballpoint pen. You know, I, I like having it kind of a lot of movement to it because that's how I sketch. If I'm like doing a quick sketch, you want to do an animal or something, uh, or at the aquarium or the zoo or the farm or wherever your your own cat and dog whatever it is that you're um you know drawing so let's back out let's see let me back out here so you can see how big he is <laughs> how zoomed in we were Let's lighten it up again. We'll go back and forth between the brightness here. Oop, I think I got them a little too bright there. But depending on if you're on white paper or dark paper. I'm encouraging me to go back to drawing a day and bring back my skills. You should, Candy. 
candy. Girl. All right, let me see. Where did I put my... I'll show you my... Uh... I'll show you my Inktober monsters from this year. I, won't, I probably won't go all through all 31 of them, but just so you can see how big. <laughs> this is how big my Inktobers were this last year. This was my cover page for my Inktober. Because I what I did is movie monsters my way. So <laughs> uh, I did them how I wanted to do them. Not necessarily how exactly like right out of the movies, but how I wanted to do do them and i did a couple versions of frankenstein and uh, i did some of the uh japanese monsters i think this is gamera uh, i'm not going to remember all the japanese names but i did them from the movies the fly bride of frankenstein elvira i hope it's not is it getting fuzzy when i do that janet i'm flipping through these really quick so I'm hoping they're not getting fuzzy when I do it. Because sometimes when you go quick like that, it can it can mess up your, um, it'll go fuzzy for a minute. Wicked Witch of the West. And it's all with ballpoint pen. And well, this is Posca. The white highlights is Posca. But the the it's ballpoint pen and then just ink. It's a little flashed out there. There we go. There we go. There's the light. Come back. Come back to us, light. And now this was not part of Inktober, but I this was my, uh, I did another project during October. While I was doing Inktober, I was also doing an Edgar Allan Poe box and book set. <laughs> and so there's my Edgar Allan Poe. Okay, here's Zira from Planet of the Apes. Now here's an example of when you mess something up. So a lot of these, <laughs> faithful mess, a lot of these were done uh, on stream. Not all of them, but a, a bulk of them were done on the show. Well, when we were doing Zira, her hair was like, I mean, like an inch bigger than this. It was just like, she looked like she had a 60s bouffant. And it just didn't, it just wasn't right. So I just took the scissors <laughs> and I just cut it off. Just cut it off and cut her out and glued her on another piece of paper. So Zira has been, she got a hair trim. Um, here is the Predator, another one of the Japanese monsters, uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. This one is Gargoyles, the movie Gargoyles, King Kong. Another one of the, now this one's, um, this one I think was from a thousand, 10,000 BC, that giant lizard. The people were about this big. People were about that big in the claymation or whatever that's called when they make the real lizards walk around and they superimpose the little people. <laughs> Here's my other Frankenstein. I did two Frankensteins. Nosferatu, he's creepy. Um, Cyclops from, I think, Seventh Voyage of uh, Sinbad. Here is um, uh, Dracula, Bella Lugosi, uh, Phantom of the Opera. I won't tell y'all what this one is. <laughs> Thanks, Marie. <laughs> Uh, and then this one is from one of those 50 space movies. I forget the name of it. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, there. This. these were all the ones. Here's the mummy. Um, what's his name? Bay. Uh, 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 anyway. And then our local, um, well, it's actually out of Chicago. So some of y'all might get W, I don't know, is it Me TV, I think? Um, Sven Gulli's, he hosts the... Uh, he hosts the Saturday night uh, creature features. So, oh, here's one more. Let's see. This one is, uh, this one didn't make the cut. Uh, this did not make the 31 uh, days of Inktober. But this is um, Gort Klaatu Nikto. Is that how you say it? Anyway, the day the earth stood still. This one, Julie Topaz. Her boss dresses dressed up at Halloween as the Yeti. So this is from the picture of her boss. <laughs> uh, there's other ones in here too. I think um, 
some more Jap Japanese creatures and some other ones that didn't make the cut. Uh, but anyway, here this was this is how we started out. This was the list. I scratched them off. I wrote down any ideas, any of the ones that I thought, you know, but this was my, this was my chart. This was my chart. <laughs> but anyway, that's Julie Topaz. Julie Topaz works, works for him. <laughs> now, apparently he has a great sense of humor. He has a great sense of humor and uh, yeah. <laughs> but those are some of my Inktobers from last year. If you want to see all of them, then uh, if you want to see all of them, go uh, on my Instagram for the last five years. I've done it for five years. But anyway, what I was going to say is I think this year I might do my Inktober on uh, brown tone tan paper. And I might. I don't know yet. We'll see what the prompts look like. Try to follow uh, Jake Parker's prompts for the year. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to move this book out of the way now. And uh, we'll see what happens with him later. And now I'm going to find another picture. Let's zoom in. I'm going to find a different uh, rooster picture to sketch. And I want to draw it in white and let me sharpen my pencil. Oh, this pencil sharp mm. Sketch them out. I usually sketch, you know what? I might sketch start it out in with a Conti crayon. Because that'll be quicker. Let's see here. I got a little piece. So we'll sketch out the Conti crayon, which is kind of like a hard chalk. It's not as chalky as pastel, but it's uh it's chalky like chalk like. So um let's see. Let me find another rooster. That one's kind of good. It's maybe that one. I've got a whole bunch of them here. Oh, we'll go with that one. We'll do no wait. We just did a side view, didn't we? I don't want to do another. Well, it's kind of a three quarter. We'll we'll do another profile. We'll do another profile. Vintage packaging, Janet. Do it, Janet's done. Which one have you done now, Janet? You've done vintage toys, vintage seed packs. What else have you done, Janet? I don't remember off the top of my head. But Janet's done it for at least, I don't know, how many years? Three, Janet? Yeah. Vintage packaging would be awesome, Janet, because there's so much variety. How many years have you done it? I'll wait and see what her answer is. So I'm going to start sketching out with uh, a Conti crayon here. She's done toys, candy, and seed packages. Vintage ones. I'm gonna keep. I forget we're opposite here. All right. So I'm going to just start again, and I'm just gonna kind of get them kind of blocked in. And the not, and you can erase. The, the, this is one thing you can erase. Okay, you can erase uh, your uh, Conti crayon because it's like chalky. You know, you can't really erase very well with pencil. I mean, color pencil, you can, but it never really, really erases. So. Let's do another chicken head, another rooster head. Yeah, I, I'm gonna, I might think about doing the prompts because I've never done the prompts. Never drawn uh, the done the prompts. Hi, Michelle. Oh, yeah, you did cartoons. That's right. You did do cartoons, Janet. It's funny when you look close at roosters, they look so angry. The look in their face, the look in their eyes. My sister used to have rooster, well, chickens and roosters. I probably a lot of y'all have. Um, and she said they are mean. I've never had one. But she said they're really mean. And when she lived out on her, her farm, um, 
before, you know, she's since moved and everything. Her kids have grown up and all that. But she, um, she used to, she used to run, jog a lot. And she would jog, she would jog the big field around her property. And uh, she said that Roosty, the rooster, Roosty, the rooster, <laughs> would always um, chase her and try to bite her ankles. She said, they're really mean. She said, they're mean. And then she said, one day her husband came in. He goes, I got bad news. Jody goes, what, what? Roosty's dead. And Jody went, oh, so sad. <laughs> that's too, uh, that's too, this needs, needs to be a little farther back. <laughs> Jody went, oh, so, so sad. <laughs> she wasn't, she wasn't too sad about Roosty. So let's see, let's go this way with this. In the bottle here. I need to get some, uh, I need to get some black in here so I can start really shaping this up. make my I'm gonna make my own waddle really real waddly <laughs> bye Stephanie thank you for stopping in here's my phone I hear it going okay so let's see so I'm gonna go ahead and get in get some black in here and then I can get in here with some more more detail This one, this chicken looks a little skin. This rooster looks a little skinny. <laughs> he looks a little on the thin side. Need to make his back go back a little more. Let's make him a little heftier. There we go. <laughs> they do look okay. Um, Big Mama Bird said they really do look angry. But we had a silky that had lovely brown eyes, and he was a sweetie. I've never heard anybody say a rooster was a sweetie. That's the first time I've heard that. <laughs> I always hear people saying that the roosters are mean. Look up silky roosters. Okay, let me look it up on my phone here real quick. Silky. Rooster. Oh my gosh. That would be, oh my gosh, that one would be sweet. That would be a sweetie. <laughs> That's a silky rooster. Oh my gosh. That one, that would be a sweetie. Let me see if I can get a better picture. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're so fluffy. Oh, here's a better picture. Look. Look how fluffy they are. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, is this a baby one? <laughs> Phyllis Diller rooster. Exactly, Devin. A Phyllis Diller rooster. <laughs> All right, let's do a little ink. You know, I'm going to kind of make this one kind of quick. <laughs> what did I do with my brush? Where did I go? Did it fall somewhere? Where did my, where did my brush go? <laughs> find my brush. Oh, where did it go? I'll have to get another brush. Did I leave it in the water? I don't think I did. No, I didn't leave it over there. It's rolled around here somewhere. Well, I don't know where it went. It didn't go on the floor. I don't know where it went. Oh, so I'll just get another one. But it's, things disappear on the desk. It's easy to do. I got, I got all kinds of pens and pencils here. Oh, is this it? Maybe this is it. Okay. All right. So let's just uh, let's do a little. <laughs> Should we tell her about the ones with super long tails too? Hi, Azure. What kind of what kind is that one? Does it have a special name? Let me, let me let me concentrate for a minute on the eye here. Oh, 
What are they called, Azure? Tell me about it. She has to make sure one of them doesn't lay eggs in her bed. The mama's not the mama, not the rooster. Long tailed chicken. Is that what it's called, Janet? Okay, let me look up long tailed chicken. Hang on, y'all. Y'all put me on a not a rabbit trail, but a chicken trail. <laughs> a chicken trail. Okay, it's called long tailed chicken. Long tail chicken. Oh my gosh, for real? For real? No, is that for real? For real? That's not real. That's like a no. Now, this one, I can believe that. I can believe that. But I can't believe that for real. <laughs> That's not real, is it, guys? Oh my gosh, they're creeping me out. That's like something that's that reminds me of like um alien or something. <laughs> they have them for shows. Okay, so they like probably groom them real, you know, for their whole lives to be like that. I would think that they would uh end up, you know, picking them out. And I'm just doing this with the brush. You could do it with a pen, you know. And then I can do do more with a with the ballpoint or and or uh, my white pencil too. I just thought it'd be fun to try with the brush here. to do a little a little something different. <clears throat> they have special rooster and root oh special roost and when wind their tails up at night Oh, wait, well, that's way, way too much. Way too much trouble for a, bird, for a rooster. Oh, my gosh. All right, so let's see here. Let me get some of the dark darks in here. Let's do a little bit around the... My ink is starting to dry out in my little, my little pan here. I want to do all this with white though. I want a few little areas here to highlight with the white, but I really want to do it with white. I'm just messing around here. We'll see what happens. My ink is all dried out. I gotta I'm gonna just put some more out. Really, it's all <clears throat> Gonna make them a, let's maybe even make them a stylized something here. Maybe. I don't know. Making it up as we go. Oops, got a little splat. Well, now, now we got, let's go ahead and splatter now. Got some splatters, so let's go ahead and splatter them. <laughs> I 
geese sound off a very loud yeah we have geese in the lake and stuff you know we have you know i'm fam more familiar with that I'm not familiar with that weird chicken though rooster whatever it is Whatever the heck that thing was. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. All right, let's see. I think I want to stop on this because I want to add white in here. I'm going to add white. That was a, kind of the point, right? And then some black, like, uh, just ballpoint pen. Let's let's go ahead and dry this first. All right, let me clean my brush. Well, I hope y'all have been having fun doing some drawings and some sketching and just some hanging out. Oh, you know what I should have tried? We didn't try anything with the pasta. Let's do some pasta on this. I gotta get this dry though, because I'll be smearing ink. Let's do some pasta. This is these dots are going to take a minute. Okay, I'll try not to touch. A couple of those are still wet, but let's get a the big pasta. Let's get the big mama jamba pasta. Let's see if that's still working. I haven't used it in a while. And the red, to a bigger, that's a thicker red. I think I, no, this is the thickest red. All right, maybe, or let's also maybe add some Arteza for shading. Yeah, okay, let's see what we can do here. I don't know if the Arteza will go over the Posca. Has anybody ever tried that to see if the Arteza will go over the Posca? Let's see. Let's go ahead and color this in. Now, this is kind of a thin one. I wish I had a, you know, a thicker one. I don't have a thicker red. Okay, we're just going to take a minute and blob some out. I'm going to be going over a chalky bit. Let's see if the Posca will go over, if the Posca will go over the chalk. Yeah, it's not wanting to, but I'm making it. <laughs> and there's still some ink is still wet there, too. Got to make sure all that's dry. Let's blob some out. Go a little quicker here. Just have a little play, as they say over the, across the pond. Have a little play. <laughs> Betty Jo says, I'm working on a journal called Animals with Attitude. Collecting photos of all kinds. Of, are, Betty, are you on uh, Instagram? Where do we see this? It doesn't count if there's no pictures. <laughs> it doesn't count if there's not pictures. Are you on uh, Instagram, Betty? We want to see your animals with attitude. We want to see them. <laughs> I'll wait and see if Betty, Betty answers. This one looks sad. <laughs> it's going over the black ink, but I can I can see where I'm smearing some of the black ink where it's not dry yet. I'm just blocking it in. We'll see what happens. 
kind of a cool look, you know, it's kind of a cool look. But I am smearing some of the black ink. There's some red wattle. Is my chat frozen? I don't see anybody say anything. Oh, there goes cat and paste. There we go. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's see now. Let's get the big Mama Jamba white Posca out here and see if this thing still works. So that red's not dry yet. I'm picking it up. Need to get the heat gun out on it. But I am happy that uh, so far it seems like it seems like uh, with Chrome, that's what um, I've been using the last two days of testing with uh, StreamYard. Hardwired, no Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is disconnected. <laughs> That's a crazy little chicken. And let's see. Let's get... Uh... Oh, and I want to test the, I've got to dry it though, but I want to test this for shading. Let's see, let me get it yellow here. Let's put in a little eyeball. I'm smearing it. <laughs> yes, Pacola, but I did download um, five, Firefox, what is it? Firefox, Fox, Foxfire, or what is it? Whatever it is. <laughs> um, I don't know if any of y'all saw that Clint Eastwood movie where he stole the Russian jet. I think it was called Firefox. That's what's in my head. So I don't even know what the browser name is. Firefox, Foxfire. Oh, you're not? Okay. Well, you need to get on to Instagram. Get on to IG, Betty Jo. Miss Betty Jo. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's uh, let's dry this because I'm going to be just smelling. <laughs> so thanks, everybody, for hanging out. I hope you all enjoyed the day. I need a little detail. Let me get my pen here. I need to get a little tinier around the eye there. So y'all know I love my I love me some pen. See, it just needs to be sketchy. It needs to be sketchy all the way around. I need a little sketchy chicken. <laughs> Our chicken's a little sketchy. It's a little sketchy. <laughs> um, okay, let's do a little highlight on his beak there. Oh, that's too much. So I can knock that back a little. There we go. All right, so I wanted to... Whoa, where'd the lid go? <laughs> I wanted to test the Arteza paint pens over the top. Of the Posca. Oh, it is working. I was going to shade with them. I was going to shade with the uh, Arteza, but I think I'm picking up some of that red. I am. I don't know if it's picking up because it's not completely dry, but it is going over it. But it is picking it up too. So I, I think maybe my Arteza, yeah, I don't think my Arteza is, I mean, I don't think my uh, Posca is dry. Completely.
Watch Dee Dee ruin a set of pins for the sake of a stream. <laughs> but I was trying to do a little bit of shading with the purple, you know. But some of that's not dry yet. So anyway, guys, I'm going to head out, eat some lunch, pick up this room. I hope you all enjoyed it. Oh, good. What time is it where you are, Tracy? Let's go ahead and back out and get the lighting just so you can see the two pieces that we've done today. There we go. Turn down the brightness a little. There we go. All right. Let's see. Where's the other? Backwards. Ugh. Nope. That's another rooster. Well, this isn't the one we did today, but the one we did today. There he is. Still working on him. It's not done. But uh, maybe I'll take some rooster pictures later. <laughs> he's still got a long way. You look no a lot of red to still do. Well, he's not done, but I wanted to try it on a couple of different papers for you. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. And um, thanks for getting Susan draw. Oh, good candy. Get on Instagram. Get on Instagram. All right, guys. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, um, Devin, for the super chat. And uh, where's our little collage cards we did today? Where did I put them? Where did I set those little, where did I set those little babies? Well, I'm not sure where I put them. Ah, here we are. So we also just did a couple of quick collage cards this morning. <laughs> Using Katherine Anderson's uh, backgrounds and then and that little girl there. And then we use the collage cutout book uh, for the fish and the cat and the other little things. So you can go back and watch this. Give the give the video an hour or two to fully render because we have three and a half hours and it'll take it takes an hour sometimes too for YouTube to fully render the chat and the live stream. So um, otherwise you'll just come in on an hour and a half. You're welcome, Dot. I'm glad you enjoyed Dot One Something and we gave away a couple other books today. And so, yeah. Um, I'll get that in the mail. You're welcome. Thanks for being here, Cat and Paste. And uh, anybody else that popped in? Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Carla's always so um, encouraging with, tell everybody give a thumbs up. I like the little cat and fish, though. <laughs> cat and Paste and Cat and Fish. <laughs> I might have to send that. Cat and Paste. Cat and Paste, if you will email me your address, I am gonna send I'm gonna send this to you, Cat and Paste. Send me, send me your address. <laughs> email me. I'm gonna send this to Cat and Paste. And Carla, have I ever sent you anything? Carla, have I sent you anything? I haven't, I don't know if I've sent this. I'm gonna send you this to Cat and Paste. Email me your address. Here's my email, guys, again. Oh, I got to click on here. Okay, there's my email. Email me your address, uh, Carla and Cat and Paste. Both of y'all, email me, and I'll send y'all out something. All right, guys, y'all have a good day. Okay, I'll send it to you. Just email me. I think I have your address, but send it to me again. And you too, um, Carla, send me your address. All right, guys, y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for um, sharing the morning with me every Monday and Wednesday. And we, um, we'll see you all other streamers. Bye, guys.